Disclaimer, this video, like all videos featured on this channel, is definitely intended for mature audiences. This video is likely to contain profane language, content is inappropriate for minors. Video is not for kids. Welcome to the Dr. Green Jump Show. Not a Yes, it's a Dr. Great Dub Show live, Twitch, Discord, right here on YouTube and the home site, BeReal.TV, what's poppin'? Dr. Great Dub, hello. Um, to my right, our special guest today, my man, Squints. What up, what up, what up? That's right. Um, we were trying to figure out, you know, how you would pronounce your, your first name, your actual name. Someone said it's Chansey. Nah, I Chauncey. thought it was Chauncey. Chauncey, yeah. I had no. to correct them immediately. Where do yeah. you see Chansey at? It's a Pokemon. A, I don't know who said that. There's a U in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the regular. Yeah, who, who said Chansey? Um, I, I'm not going to throw anybody. This has to be, yeah, this has to be somebody my age. Now nah, you know, it's just a regular Chauncey. Yo, yeah. Chauncey. Yo, Chauncey. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> but, you know. Folks that know you, they also hit you with the squints. Yeah, squints, definitely. That's right. Yeah. Good to have you at the table, bro. And yeah. I see you came prepped with some of your finest. Yeah, that's uh that's from my personal spot. So that's some of the new menu. I wanted oh. to, you know, come oh. share and peep and, you know, show all the homies. Hell yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Um, we also have the iconic one, Eric Big Drum Bobo in the house. Buddy. Yes. Um, oh, in the treehouse, the treehouse crew, Bolton, Blombo, Bra Bra, and the Dominator. Just bicking it, B. How you doing today? I'm just being bull. It's furious. You're probably feeling good after them Lakers. Yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about that, too. <laughs> Still think we need a new coach. Uh, concentrate King in the building. Cali Blade. Everybody. That's right. And we got the balloon man, the stellar one, E-Zone. What's going on, everybody? He's actually not been riding in the balloons these days, huh? No, not too much. But I mean, this morning there was some left over from, from oh, um, yeah. apparently. Uh, so you had a morning one, a morning. Uh, you balloon? missed one last yesterday, bro. It was a fresh tank. E zone so. came. I mean, uh, tank, the strong one, tank tone tank. came with the fresh tank. I know he he, he put it up there. Now it looks like a bowling uh, thing of with so many tanks up there. But, oh um, yeah, man. It was ninety nine oh, loft balloons. <laughs> I'm kind of I'm, okay. I'm I'm sad but happy I wasn't here because I was like, you know, taking care of people's orders and you would have thoroughly enjoyed yourself. You were being I, I, responsible, but if you would have been here, it would have been rough. Yeah, there would have been I would have been a day behind because I do enjoy um, extracurricular <laughs> activities a bit too much sometimes. Well, <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Yeah. yeah, true that. Sometimes, do you think? Do you think that? Not for nothing. I don't look at weed as a extracurricular activity it's now like a part of everybody's lifestyle it's like a vitamin but i do feel sometimes the dabs and the weed get in the way of like of, of pro, what pro, sometimes productivity. productivity yes not all the times because sometimes they help it but it can have that effect where sometimes they're like you know what if i wouldn't have just rolled that joint i would have just gone this over with and that turned it into a 40 minute delay when it's a 10 minute thing i needed to do you know what i chalk it up to it's it's like when you do mushrooms you know how we tell people that you got to be in the right mindset to do it i think sometimes because we do it so much that it's a part of of who we are like doing these dabs and smoking the weed the way we do we like subconsciously we forget about that but if we're in a certain certain mood before we get there, like, like, oh man, I'm, I'm in one of those. I don't want to do nothing days. It'll totally lean in on you in that and amplify that. Definitely. So it was probably that you already wanted to lag in the first place. It just helped you yep. with the lag. 
as opposed to motivated you to like, oh man, I got to work. You know what I mean? I got to get up and do this. Because I think, I think it's all in the mindset. But yeah, you know, like, and that gets in the way of productivity, I think. If, if you're already in the mindset like, man, I don't want to do this. If you're today. not up for it. Yeah, I don't want to do this today. And then you end up taking a dab before or after you say that. Yeah, you're definitely not going to want to do what you know you don't want to do. There's times before a workout where, like, you know, if, so if you get it in early in the morning, you like my my biggest thing is like I I am so used to smoking every time before working out, but I'm 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 cool with working out at home. But I recently got a got a, a membership at a gym, right? And I, I'm I'm enjoying the drive there and all stuff because that sometimes you could smoke before you well, go there. Sometimes I prefer not to because yeah. I like I, it'll put me in a relaxed point state of mind sometimes when I'm not feeling when I wake up and I'm like man I could use that thirty minutes of extra sleep. But I'm like, nah, just get up. It's for your health, bro. Just get up. And, and if you smoke, it would that power and that feeling of wanting to get those extra 30 minutes is going to follow you to the gym. And then you're going to be like, you know what? I'm not going to push it too far. I'm just going to get with regular things and just get through this hour over here. You know, I'm just saying, like, not, it doesn't get in the way, but it kind of does sometimes, you know? If you, like you said, if you're not already up feeling it, as compared to other days when I'm, I'm fully rested, I got a good, a good REM sleep. Yeah, and I'm just gonna go in there on like a Monday, and you're just amped. Oh, then you just kill it, and it, yeah. the, the herb just you know it, it lets everybody else at the gym know. Yeah, that's right, I'm here. I I like <laughs> I, you know like I used to smoke all the time before working out. Like back in the day, like I had to. I felt like I had to. That that was that was what was motivating me and keeping me in key and you know obviously focused, right? But in the last several years man i've been working out without it and then like smoking directly after like using it as the healing as opposed to the motivation that's me I, I can't do it not can't but i don't like doing the the pre-workout post-workout i love it but not the pre because i do lose energy the, the other thing that yeah. stopped me though was that i like once upon a time when i was doing gym memberships and and going to, to public gyms and stuff like that i come in there smelling like it so every stoner in the gym would come interrupt me while I'm doing something like, hey, dude, you smell good. Let's go blaze one in the parking lot. I got some OG. And they didn't have any OG, but that's <laughs> the term they wanted to use for the little mids they were smoking. You're, you right? And, like, it, it just it started getting to me, like, man, I can't come to the gym smelling like weed because it's an easy connection. Like, oh, he smelled, oh, it's him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Sometimes I can get by if I'm not looking somebody in the eye and I'm just head down and focused. But when they smell the weed, two and two together, right? Yeah, I like the smoke. I like the the smoke after the workout. Yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't, you know, I, I feel a little bit of difference. You know, it doesn't take away, you know, my mental drive, but the physical thing I feel. So, like, after workout and then the smoke is, like, optimum for me even though sometimes I will smoke before like yoga or something like that, but that's a more relaxed kind of thing. Yeah. So you can, you know, zone out and just enjoy the high and just like, you know, just be stretching a little bit as opposed to on a treadmill, sweating it out, you know, and, and be hot at the same time. Yeah, that's tough. It's tough because you want to switch it up or you want to stop because it's just monotonous. Yeah. That's the one thing about a treadmill. It gets monotonous. You're like, Pfft. That's why they like Can't added wait. those like the, the TVs that it looks like you're you're walking somewhere, you know, they give you the little, yeah, the you little download, trail and stuff like that. You just look at it like, you know, you're walking. You download the little the the different um different areas, you unlock them as you uh, run different marathons. Yeah. That's how it is. You make an account on there and then you just like it, they're like, "All right, you finished all of these and you ran this much. Now you unlock this one." And you download new ones cuz they're constantly filming them. So it's crazy. Maybe it would be better if it had like a, a VR headset. <laughs> Like you're wearing while you're too you sweaty, that. dude. Um, cardio yeah. is way too sweaty. Oh no, you can't do that. Yeah. People be falling over. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The videos you, would be hilarious. The though. videos <laughs> to that would be <laughs> hilarious, bro. You they have full on that. body body suits, but not that it, like it's with all this technology. That I, that I was just being told about this uh on my show early in the morning. Um but yeah, they, they, but nothing covering the head it's if, just like mostly focusing on muscles and electromagnetic pulses and stuff like that stuff just real science shit you know? yeah i mean because, oh, oh, you just got it yeah got him um got him <laughs> yeah i mean like there's a lot of people that 
are uncoordinated <laughs> without VR on their fa- on their eyes or heads or whatever, man. You cannot have them <laughs> doing something like that with VR because it, it's destined for tragedy. VR itself is is dangerous. Oh yeah. You see the kids getting socked or the boxing game as as people running into the TVs. Those videos are crazy. Oh yeah. Or or yeah, smashing their hand into the TV or yeah. the wall or yeah. somebody's face by accident because they're standing yeah. too close to you while you're I think it's just such a a mind trick on like a, on the brain that sometimes you buy into what you're looking into and that's what causes those reactions like that. Like there's sometimes like I have an Oculus at home and I'll sit in here, I'll sit I'll sit in my chair and I'm I'm going through it like I'm just looking through these different apps and and then you you're just sitting there and you're you think you're moving but then you you come across the edge of a mountain and then you're like I don't want to keep going forward because you, you think it, but yeah psychologically feels, you yeah, it feels mind, real you enough trick. yeah and you know it's not because the shit is on your head damn it God. because it's on your head but uh, you know. Just you take it off. Feel it in your stomach. You could feel it. Yeah, yeah. I think it's better. Just they should have a, like a, a sensation in the in the the thing. Like if you were to jump off the cliff, well, they have they have this new thing they're they're um, um, including into these uh, systems is where they, they he was like definitely the, on the cliff. The four D thing where they'll they'll add the aromas and oh yeah, certain it's things. Kind of like California Adventure was. They still like, have that. Yeah, they were one of the first to do that. Uh, yeah, they, they didn't call it 4D though, but to implement uh, it's for the senses aromas. Yeah, to tri- like it's a, it becomes a real immersive experience. Yeah, I think it's 4DX is what the, that's the one with the. Uh, we're like, what happened? You got you. We're, we're like saying. five years from these guys not leaving their room to what go to the you club say? or you do anything. You know what I mean? Did? Yeah. Yes, you did. You <laughs> said it. You did. You, you did. We're confident. You threw an f bomb in there. Hey, I'll pay for it. I'm good. We so, got we so, got rules. Or? So Chauncey, yeah. no, like, because <laughs> I know you're like hearing it and being like, "What's going on here?" Um, as guests, we or as hosts, we have you know our our thirty minute challenge where we try not to curse, and if we do, we got to take flips or a shot. I owe one. He owes one. I already did. He it. took his. I got I got to take my medicine pretty soon, but it it doesn't apply to guests. Okay. So you're safe. I'll do my best. Or, no, yeah. you're good. You you're good. It's just it's it's a game we have. You know, unless you want to. Unless yeah, you, unless, unless you, you want, want to, that. then yeah, you want to participate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm here. That's I'm all right. right. There you I'll go. be part. You know, like your attitude. I'm gonna ride with you guys. Hey, you're doing you're doing an event on 420, which I think is very cool. Smokers friendly showing of the Sandlot to yeah. commem- commemorate like 30 years, right? It's, this is, is the it? 30th anniversary yeah. this year. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Congratulations yeah. on that, man. Thank you, bro. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's cool that people are still interested and that multiple generations are like picking up the film and we'll still watch it because you know things yeah. don't age well usually and it's hard yeah. to do. You know what the best part about about that franchise is that th- I mean, thankfully, 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 there has been nobody in Hollywood that has destroyed it by recreating it. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? It's been respected, and I hope it stays that way. Where it's like a, it's an icon thing because I, I I get it. Some things when they try to recreate it, but yeah, some things they need. It to It was leave a alone. time in America where you just you just can't recreate it the way that hit. And a lot of kids grew up to that movie with you guys. Guys. Yeah, yep. you know 100%. what I mean, and and I mean, there's there's, you know, cats like your age that like it th- when they see that movie, it brings back all those childhood memories. So the ball players, especially, bro. Yeah. You know, I was we did 25th anniversary at Dodger Stadium, and Matt Kemp came up and was like, he's like, yo, that movie's how. That's why I play ball. You that's know what I mean? They, that's how they got into the game. That's like legends that have you know that appreciate that. So it's that, cool. That's coming up. I don't know. Was it for opening a game? Were you guys at Dodger Stadium? Or uh, um, or are you, it, we did that a few years back, yeah. Is that is that going to be a recurring thing? Because I know it went as far as it. I mean, they even made a cap, or every year, like every year, it's like every ten years. They did, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, so they not, made a few different ones around the majors. Um, Dodgers, obviously, close to home, so that's uh, like beloved, you know. Is that happening again? I don't think we're going to do anything this year. So Disney bought the the film now, I think, in yeah. the Fox buyout. I think it ended up with them. So it's and, in uh, their catalog now, and they're on Marvel <laughs> and Star Wars, so. You know, they're focusing yeah. on they, on they like appreciating assets and they're not. Yeah, the good thing is, though, is like you said, they're not. I don't think anybody will remake it. Like, I yeah. don't think Disney's interested to do that. I think that they'll just, you know, we got an asset. We'll just ride it out. It, yeah. it makes money every year regardless, you know? Yeah. If there was, it would probably have to be you guys passing it on to your kids. That would be the only way it made Some sense. Some kid finds a magic baseball. So there was a show <laughs> that was going to maybe happen that yeah. uh, that Fox had presented, even during the Disney buyout. And it might have went, it was right around the time that, uh, you know, Cobra Kai was doing really well. So they right. were like, oh, maybe we have something. 
Could but that be. was kind of the premise. Yeah. It was like me older with Wendy. I own I own the store and Ham was a wrestler and like had us like it was going to be funny because it was going to take place like 20 years later in right. the 80s, which I was just like, ah, oh, this is going to be great. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, people, Danuna is going to come out with the with the 80s gear and the Afro flowing and like, yeah. it'll be, it'll be just be hilarious looking at us in 80s you know, yeah. regalia, right? I think, I think that would go. It would have been good. Just the way Cobra Kai went. You have to be like right. dark about it though, you know? Yeah, yeah, for 100%. sure. 100%. Yeah, then I mean. Dark humor. Dark humor about it. About it, yeah. Certain shows that 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 hit a, a big audience like that and resonate with people, that they, they have that longevity. Like even uh, that '70s shows, which is I guess love that the show. '90s, and I love that's one of my favorite shows. But it still had enough strength for it to produce a successful spinoff that '90s shows, which yeah, it doesn't hit the same. But all those same fans are watching that. It it ran continuous. for years. It made yeah. money. Yeah, you know what I mean. For Even sure. the '90s show ran ran for. No, I mean the night. Like I'm sorry, the '90s shows that just came, like that they just revamped that on Netflix. Yeah. So that so that that just every single fan base that that '70s shows acquired just showed up for this Netflix series. Yeah. And, and I think it got approved. And they were Mexico. smart enough to bring back people original from the original that '70s show to to that to the new one. So you know, as parents, because that's the only way it makes sense. So much time has passed by. Fez is the only one yeah. that's single still. Of course, <laughs> of course, you know. It's but hard. but I got to give you props on that 420 event because that's a dope idea to bring people back together. Yeah, and 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 smoke out and watch the sand lot. Yeah. So main stage sack Caleb from main stage up there, great store. Um, he came to me and they're doing this thing called the Dope Show where they're renting out the Crest Theater in Sacramento every Thursday. <laughs> smoke friendly you go to the store you buy your goodie bags which have the tickets because they can't really yeah. you can't sell at the box office because it's private right but uh it's smoke friendly they bring you chill i mean everybody we've all dreamed about just blazing freely at the movies True right that, yeah i mean that's that not in the car but like no we just chilling roasting watching watching the comedy is is I great so be. that was kind of the thought behind it yeah. and uh he hit me and he was like yo why don't we run sandlot uh, what do you think about 420? Because that date's open. And I was like, yeah, man, let's do it, you know? Sounds like the perfect date. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with it. Let's run it. It's never been done before. Where's, um, where's that going to be at? It's at Sacramento at the Crest Theater. So it's like a classic. I guess it's a it's a very famous, known, big theater in Sacramento. Yeah, up in Sac, um, yeah. Yeah. So. A lot of and it's indoors, right? Yeah, it's indoors. That's dope. I, I'm not sure how it's going to work out with the, I don't know the layout of it. Yeah. I'm just a It's going to be guess, dope. But uh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be dope, yeah. Yeah. And, Smoke box for sure. And for a while now you've been you've been uh in the cultivation game, right? Yeah, so uh I got my first rec in like two thousand and one. And then so on and off since then. Obviously in the last ten, twelve years, a lot more heavy than in the earlier years, yeah. you know? Did you ever think, you know, was that was that something that you that you thought to do or was that that something that just popped up organi organically for you? Um, I just, I just loved weed. You know what I mean? I fell in love with her, like the plant uh -huh. at a young age. Like and, we uh, all do. Yeah. And then mm. my brain just wanted to, you know. And then you started absorbing the knowledge of, of actually growing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, we failed for a while before we got, you know, like everybody else. We all do, man. Yeah. <laughs> and it's always, always dialing it in. <laughs> uh, chasing fun. the perfect run forever bro yeah. that's my thing i'm like mario kart that's how i think the, of it like yeah all cultivators chase that that's that is it, the bro. reality that's, of that's it. what we're thinking you know and yeah. you know a lot of times it's not only human but but mechanical air yeah. or acts of god it's la we're indoors anything can happen at any any given time you know what i mean so, yeah people don't realize how hard that that particular space is you know to do cultivation it's very it's tedious and it's fragile yeah as as well as you might have you know, your program down, anything could happen and a don domino effect happens yeah. to where it's like, damn, you might lose half half the hit or the whole thing sometimes, you know, depending on what went wrong. And it's 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 a sometimes a thankless, unforgiving game. Super. You still have that OG? Uh that cut original? Because you know you've been you've been in that game for a minute. A lot yeah. of people don't know, but so I know we talked about it on my show, but I know I remember you mentioned it. I haven't been running a straight OG cut. I actually don't have one that I'm happy with at the moment. Um, it's hard know, to find a good OG cut these days. Yeah, I like the Kush Co cut a lot right now for for like the way it looks. It's a good bulky yeah. OG, but uh, I mean, I have access to it. Yeah. The problem is right now is that the market's just getting back there. So 
yeah. I can't run a bunch of it right now. It yeah. just, uh, you know, we have to, to, to run a bunch of different things. And OG doesn't mix well with a lot of these uh, new genetics that we're running in these rooms either. Yeah. You know, we used to run rooms like, you know, at a very mild temperament. Now things are kind of accelerated and she doesn't like... Yeah, she just doesn't like that. You know what I mean? Kind of fries out she's and doesn't. Be, she's doesn't like very it. particular. It's like Super. when you put the young puppy with uh, like the the old ass pit bull. The pit bull's yeah. probably gonna mess that new puppy up if it doesn't feel it. You know, so it either feels it or it doesn't. You yeah, know? yeah, you know, OG never like really converts to another style of of you know whatever the other plant might take to. You know what I mean? Like you can't put it in the same room as something else because it's but, just not going to react the same way. But those mixes... Like that, the feeds and all that stuff. Yeah, it likes a certain mix. It yeah. likes certain temperatures. It likes a very chilled out, mellow, you yeah. know. You know, there was, two, there was two brands that had a real good cut of OG for a time, like, you know, f from that way back, that, that really, that strong, tart flavor, and then that... The impact in the in the nose. It was a celeb OG, was one celeb. That's my boy Kev. Yeah, that's the homie. Shouts. Yeah. That's the old Valley Cut. And yeah. uh, and this other cat named Will Anonymous. Um, he was based out of like um Lancaster, Palmdale, whatever. But he had a really good cut of of OG that was like the old shit. Mm -hmm. Damn, I caught another one. Hmm. Um, but those were the two guys that, like, their cuts, like, if, if you managed to get cuts from, from those two, you had some solid OG. Uh, the other ones around were good, but those ones, in, in terms of, like, the terpene and the, the, ev the impact of everything, like, that was from the old cuts, th those two guys had them. I mean, you would know better yeah. than anybody, pretty much. You know? Well... I mean, you know, we've had a lot of OG, including yeah. our own. And, mm -hmm. and you know, being able to, like, you know, people come to us, hey, try this, try our OG, tell us what you think about it. Those two guys, man, I mean, those two companies were the ones that, like, had standout cuts of it, and they were consistent in how they produced it. It's, you know. <clears throat> it's become a lot harder to find it, man. True like, that. But like, what, like, there's certain, I can't, I, I, honestly, I'm not going to say, like, oh, I can't, rem like, I can't remember the last time I had the real OG, like there's sometimes where like some company will give it to you, but you're like, you cross this with something, you know what I mean? Or you did, so you could just, or you, when you taste it, it's, it's not that feel, you know? I think the last time like that it was available, it was pretty big, like it was when the first Kushko, um, uh, what is it, stream came out, and I remember uh, the Paris OG was like at its peak. Yeah, that Paris moment, OG that, was that, really that, good. That, was, oh, yeah. that I remember that was a really fire OG. And then I got to try. I mean, the first the first batch that I ever tried of the Insane OG, of course, that's always set the smart set the bar. But yeah, even then, it's like it's hard to come across it. How it's hard to come across any of how, it? Hard. How that how it well, looked I, and I, how it tasted even. I think because you know it's it's easier to do the exotics. Some of them just you know they they produce more. You know you can you could push them in different ways that you can't push OG and push in OG. You need more room to grow a lot of it. Because it doesn't traditionally <clears throat> yield like the others, um, so you know you see people you know producing more you know hybrids and stuff like that these days than than producing OG, and it's not like it's you know lost. People have the cuts. I would imagine with the with the what do you call it the tissue, tissue culture, culture yeah. someone was smart enough it's, to save some cuts or save few the genetics. I think I it's say. method more than anything that's True different, that. you know? It was Definitely a very small method. batch. Everybody had their own secret sauce in the OG days, you yeah. know? It was still like yeah. forum times. Nobody was on Instagram seeing each other's things and copying or, method. Yeah. It was like, oh, my homie got my homie got a certain, now he's got a mix, dog. His thing's, it's the, it's the best, you know what I mean? And it yeah. would be like some, Everybody had a mix, yeah. Everybody had a different, a different vibe, you know? And, and now cats are using salts. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's big ag, bro. It's convenient. Um... I still think you can grow good weed with salts. It's not the same necessarily yeah. because it, it it lacks like that. You have to really dial it in, thing. man. You have yeah. to really dial that game in to to get the salts right. I think. Yeah, because the aesthetics are there. It's just it'll lack flavor. It'll be different textures. It you know things that so it's salt a desiccant, so it's gonna yeah. remove moisture from the plant naturally. That's just what it does. So people do it. It'll give you more bag appeal. 
But for the smoke, I'm not the biggest fan. You're right. Just personal. I'll, I'll say that. It, it, like you got to really have that game tight. You do. If for it for it to like compare in terms of flavor. Agreed. It'll give you the nice white ash and all that. Yeah. Fuck, uh, man, I hate the white ash. I just want to talk about that. I do. <laughs> I mean, real quick. Yeah, it's I like, get it. I it's get important because it. it's annoying. You know, you'll have people rating your weed by it's a bad, the color of your ash. It's a, it, yeah. It's a bad model to base a, a whole business off of, you 100%. know? It's true. And it doesn't necessarily translate. It, it, not yeah. that it doesn't necessarily. It's not true. It's, it's 100% yeah. not yeah. true. I know people who have gone I like things dirty to burn weed. Good. Yeah. Yep. I like right. them to burn good yep. and like ash through and not be chunky. But if it's, there's certain flavors that they don't get light like that. Correct. Bro. Yeah. They're exactly. Darker. No matter how much you a flush. A darker nope. variety. It nope. just is a darker. Correct. It's just a darker. Yeah. There's a lot of, ele- there's a lot of different elements, you know, to why the ash is black in the first place. And because it doesn't I mean, mean I, it's dirty. It doesn't mean it's no. dirty. It's, it's. Could be too moist. I mean, like moisture or, or moisture content, or the leaf structure yeah. Yeah. within there. You know, depending on the trim that happened. Yeah, um, I fucking hate that retarded ash, bro. When it's, it's like all fucking just like it's it's coming through and like yeah. spotty, and it's like it's like on the end. And then no matter how much you hit it, it's like, hey, come on, man, it burned evenly. I'm like, I know I rolled yeah. this good, man. What's up with this? Does the paper have anything to do with it? not no. ash? Nope. Because no. look at cigarettes; they burn white. They're all poison. Poison. Straight poison. That's a white ash. When people go, yeah, it's clean. I'm like, what are you judging, <laughs> idiot? Like, <laughs> no. But that's the problem. You who, told you that, who, who told you well, that, Cali Who told you? I think. I, I think a, people. A lot it's of a movement right now. It is a movement. Well, well I think a lot time. of the stuff that's grown with salts, yeah. you, you know, hits the white ash. So that's what they're used to seeing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, um, it's out there, and it's you know, not, it's people not, grading weed on it, it. Like, it's not necessarily in the yeah. flush. No, it's definitely not. And if you're growing in like living soil and things like that, it's not the same. Like rock wool is going to burn white quicker than soil will. So. There's like so many things. Moisture content. It's moisture huge. content. Moisture mostly. content. Huge. Biggest, biggest huge. deciding factor. I agree with that. Definitely. People Catching don't realize it at the, that. Right, yeah. at the right percentage. Correct. And then and it's strain variant too. It just, Definitely you know. strain variant because certain strains, no matter what you do, you can change nutrients. You can flush longer. They still burn dark no matter Guys what. Guys that are really into the ash color and yeah. that type of model, I mean, they're hunting for things that burn clean. That's right. Yeah. And that's what they, you know they what I mean? grow only and ones that grow. Yeah. And you could find it. It's out there. For sure. But that's I mean- right. Nine out of ten Kenjis burn white, but he'll tell me he'll be like, "This one, this one won't burn white, no matter what, no matter how and much we, you flush." And it's fire. He don't care. He's yeah. gonna put it out because it is fire. fire. I mean, how many times have you smoked something that didn't have white ash? That <laughs> That's was, right. It was fire. I look, yeah, man. Yeah, that it happens. He's yeah. right about people that want to dial it in. They're looking like you think. Oh, what was his line for? It was a C drop? Because I remember the uh, the early. I want to say like five, six years back. Or no, or even like four years back when C drops were everything for certain growers like they would line up like more than jordan lines you know and they're just going crazy and i'm like what is this all for seeds yeah because motherfuckers were trying to get ahead of the game because they knew that just you can have the facility to grow all these bomb ass strains but you got to have that technique and have that shit dialed in and that shit comes with experience absolutely so it's like the people that got in there first like i'm gonna pop these seeds and like i don't know it was like four years ago and now they're probably like yeah i'm the one that has this cut right here and you know yeah, that the breeding game takes time. You yeah. gotta invest years in You gotta genetics. fail many times before right. you get that right. Yeah. And there's very few people doing it right, you know, when yeah. it comes to genetics for real. There are some good genetics out there though. Definitely right? <laughs> some people like Chris and I can't call him compound Chris anymore because he's not with compound anymore, but Chris has had some fire genetics, you know. There's people who put out really good genetics and then there's other people who flood the market with the same exact strains, which I don't have to With just mention. different names. Yeah, well, everybody yeah. knows who that guy is. So shout out to him because he made black. a killing, a killing, but everybody grew the same weed last year. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone had the same cut. So yeah, just variations. We need better variations. It's like that. with that Gorilla Glue debacle. Right? Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. played out the Gorilla Glue because everybody gave everybody... <laughs> Yeah, because it was doing three God. pounds of light. I seen oh, it when know. it came, when it yeah. came, got big and died out all within. Yep. A, I was at Green Dragon, and it then, gets so. a bad yeah. rap because it's a great strain. It is. I mean, that, I it's, agree. it's flavor. It gets you high. It's just you know because they flooded the market with it. People were like, ah, pff, I, don't I, want it. I would yeah. fuck with it right now. I would. Uh, yeah, like, hey, a good glue is. It, yeah, good, it is good. A good yeah, glue is, is good. great. I, 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 have you had the glue and the OG crossed? Yeah, that. 
I thought it was like, I was like, that was just, I was like, hey, this already made me cough by itself. I was like, this double this. This is great. Yep. Yeah. yeah. True it is. I'm not mad at it. Mix a little glue in there. It'll make the yeah. plant grow good anyway. Yeah. Bring it. We, I used to just strong. change the name and people were like, yo, this shit's fire. And once they buy it, I'm like, you know, it's gorilla glue. They're like, motherfucker. I'm like, yeah, see? Good what y'all, what y'all hey, by the way, cunt, we're good. You need a shot? Oh, yeah, let me All get right. one of the five minutes already. A little sipping good. cup. Got to. B, do you, uh, how do you feel about OG these days? I've always wanted to, I want to get your opinion on it now. Cause, I, uh, I've always loved OG, you know what I mean? And, and I always will, but like, like everybody else, it's hard to really get. I mean, we we produce it and all that stuff, but like I'm used to ours. Like yeah, I, I like to it. I like to see what everybody else got with the other OGs out there, but I haven't really come across one that was really that crazy in a long time. Like the way that I was talking about Celeb and and Will's uh, anonymous Will Anonymous's OGs. Josh like, D got a fire cut. Jo Josh D's got a fire cut, but I haven't yeah. had any of his in quite a while to really to, he's, to, he's got some to taste eaters right now yeah his um, uh his he, new rooms like recently are look like amazing but i'll tell you what a couple years ago people were you know before all the pandemic hit people were were talking about green weed is coming back meaning right og bet, was og was back i've been saying it for three years it hasn't back. happened yet <laughs> it hasn't happened yet we're still waiting on it yeah, but that was it. that was the word is it yeah it was coming back we're still waiting for it to come back, but you know the greater market dictates. Unfortunately, I'll and, uh, like, but like I said, I'll I'll always love OG because you know that was my favorite. It still is, but I haven't come across the one that made that reminded yeah. me why this is my favorite. Yeah, I can't smoke it every day anymore. What, Even OG? if I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think that things have evolved so much now. I, I mean, I smoked OG every day for years and was privilege to do it you know what i mean at that time period but now that the the you know the flavors yeah always chasing something yeah something different something Turp hunting. New. yeah i still like a good og here and there but yeah. it's interesting Turp chasers come on yeah, let's man. make a, let's make a show right yeah. here Turp Turp chasers. Chasers. That's it. That's hey, it. have you have you Chase um Turps. i wouldn't i don't i don't imagine any of the other sandlot guys smoke have you smoked like are you the guy that smokes out of the crew some of the cats smoke some of the cats uh smoke weed some like you, don't you blazed out with them yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Does a big guy smoke? Uh, no. Oh, I was like, no, I was no, no. See him high. No, Pat's a Pat's a <laughs> Pat's a, a good dude. He's a square, but he's a good dude. Can you pass this to Bobo? Yes, sir. Thank oh, you, sir. Yes. yes. Why not? Well, I I gave you the the look, and you gave me the nod. I thought that meant yes, but I guess maybe you were just asleep over there. No, 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 I did give you the nod. You okay, know. cool. All right. Yeah, I felt like that's I, what we're going with, right? Have you now. been in portal mode? No, oh, he's been, been around. I've oh. been chilling. He's here. I'm right here. He's with us. You know, I'm with you. Were you on Porto mode yesterday? Cheers. At, at the cheers. Here's for my catch up with the fries. No mayo. Boom. At the, at the game. Yeah. No, no, I I wasn't in Porto mode, but Ooh. see now, you know they got that uh, all you can drink margarita thing that's in yeah, the, the, the suite, yeah. right? <laughs> so after like two or three of those. You know, I was feeling kind of nice right there, you know. So, But it wasn't really portal mode, but it was just nice. We had two L.A. wins last night. Yeah. LAFC, 3-0. Salute to the to the boys, the squad. One of them was champions last year. And, uh, yeah. you know, the, the Lakers won their playing game, so they are solid on seventh place. They're going to be going up against uh, the Grizzlies. So Is now the they're in the playoffs. Yeah, they got their little wild card win. They're, they're, not, they're calling it a play-in, but they need to call right. it something other yeah. than play -in. Hanging by a thread-in? Hanging by a thread-in. <laughs> yeah. Like, the thread-in. The, yeah. the thread-in game. Sure. <laughs> that play-in, that, play that sounds weak. Oh, man, they need, yeah. to f they need to um, get a new coach. They got, a, they got good pieces. I just don't feel that... He knows what he's doing with these pieces. Why don't you like, apply for the job? No, I'm not a I think coach. You could do it, man. I've seen championship coaches. Yeah, you could do it. But a coach I am not. Yeah. I just know what a championship coach looks like, though, and it because what it, it ain't him. <laughs> <laughs> you still see you still see Jack Nicholson at this game, even though like there's. there's not I much haven't much. seen Jack at this game these games because maybe he's working. Oh, Whenever you you don't see Jack at the games, it's because he's working on something. When he's not working, he's there, courtside. How does he look? 
He looks like Jack. Yeah, no, he of course he's old. I, I he's, he, he looks a little good. older, but right. I mean, he he looks. I mean, still looks His money right. keeps him looking like Jack. Good. I don't know. I saw a picture of him, and he looked real big. He looked like. Oh, he put on weight. Oh, he yeah. put on more weight. He put on mm. more weight. Maybe that's why we ain't seen him at you the know, Laker games, <laughs> Poppy. Like, that's know. not as good. You don't want as people as to see the weight. I don't know, bro. You know who's gonna take the weight? Well, he's taking it right now. He's taking it. <laughs> he's pushing weight. Yeah, that's what it seems. But I don't know. You Give know, me your seat, Jack. Great. Come on. Put me in, coach. How old is Jack? He's got to be. I think he's 80? in his 80, right? Yeah. 80s? yeah. yeah. Dang, uh, Bolton, 80. how old is Jack Nicholson? Yeah, Siri. <laughs> that, Bolton's our Siri. <laughs> Bolton, how old? <laughs> hey, Bolton, how old is Jack Nicholson? Good. He's 85. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Good yeah. for him. So he's eating. He's getting fat. You know what? He's got Look, look. Yeah, look. He's putting on weight. He's you probably know. still boning. Like no, and he's enjoying life. You he's know? enjoying life. Yeah. Yo, you, you he looks root? like Departed Jack. Yeah. Fruits yeah. of his labor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He does look like Departed Jack. He does. You Smash right. your hand. Which, Yo, you know, I'm cool with. Yeah. <laughs> B, you remember the skit Relax. when we went, saw the Dave Chappelle? Do you remember what's his name? Uh, who used to do The Tonight Show? What was his uh, name? John, John, um, yes, John Stewart. John Stewart, yeah. So John Stewart was talking about it. He was like, man, everybody's always telling me, hey, watch what you eat. You know, don't eat that. You know, you'll take five years off your life, this and that. He goes, and then I think about it. He goes, my father is 95. He was like, if this guy sneezes, he could blow his kidney out his asshole. <laughs> That's what he said. He goes, you want me to not enjoy the food that I love for those five years? Fuck you. I'm eating what I want. And I never thought of it like that, you know? And I, ever since then, and I picture him blowing his kidney through his asshole. I'm like, wait, I don't want to be alive then either. I want to eat good and enjoy my life before I go. I don't want to... Do all that like eating good and tearing your body down are two different things. Correct. Yes, now, listen, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. There's there's a definitely a thing, but don't just rid yourself when you get right. older. I mean, hey, listen, listen. This is why people that do fitness give themselves cheat days, and when they do the cheat days, yeah. they 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 fucking cheat. Yeah, that's right. I mean, like you know what I mean. So like, yeah, you know, put the work in, but. Like also give yourself the day to be human and yeah. you know g- Enjoy. treat yourself. You cannot. Be, you can do yeah. this. You cannot be okay with uh, blowing your kidney out your ass. Right. No, you no cannot way. be okay. You can't just say, you know what? <laughs> no. Fuck it. You know what I mean? If it happens, it happens. Ah, uh, t- oh, there goes you know my mean? kidney out my asshole. <laughs> that's, that's not the way I want to donate my kidneys. You know? No, me neither. Ass. Ass. No. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, my grandfather. My grandfather in his later years told my dad. He said. He said, "Yo, these ain't the these ain't the golden years, bro." <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. You know what I mean? So <laughs> they know. just call them that. Yeah, right. they call them that. <laughs> my dad, my dad, be like, "Yo, why don't you go down to the club, the veterans club, and play cards?" And he's like, "What the fuck for? All my friends are dead." Oh, uh, terrible. It's a you know, it's a you know it's a when situation. the hom- when the when the homies old homies go, you know what I mean? They ain't trying to like recreate that with like the young homies, you know? Yeah, they, they can't, you know. Now they're the just same. grumpy old men. Yeah, yeah. it, it the ain't same. the same. Yeah. So we got to enjoy a little bit while we're here, too. You, you know? do. Live your life, dog. Yeah. I'm a big, a big supporter of that. Yeah, you can't be too serious all the, di- all the damn time. You, you know, you got to take time to enjoy life. You know. Agreed. Day by day. Yeah. I do. I try. I do my best, but, you know. Yeah. That's all we can do, man. You know, that's why sometimes, you know, if you like the portal, you know, enjoy it. Portal. That oh, doesn't portal. hurt you. Go there, man. Go a good, there. A good, mushrooms are good for you. They're talking about shrooms. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, a good portal is not is not a bad that's right. thing. You know? It's not a bad thing, right? No, it's no. A, it's a inner it's a, that's going inside and, and doing right. some self work or just yeah. zoning out, you know I'm what I mean? Going, right. Yeah. Two things. Yeah. Either that or in just going out and enjoying an event somewhere, like wow, this is amazing. It's either yeah. self self work or enjoyment. Exactly. Mm-hmm. There you go. You know. Yeah. It's either one. That's right. If it's self work, you need a guide. Agree. Don't just do it. Like, especially <laughs> yeah. if you got no, a lot of true. demons in your head, yeah. man. Like, but I'm not joking. <laughs> right? You won't enjoy it. I tried to do right. this years ago. Like somebody told me about something they did. So I was like, I'll just do it on my own. And I literally did it at home alone. It was terrible. Hey, like listen, terrible. All I did that, not like it. All the time in like through <laughs> what, 96 through 2000 something. Yeah. I was in my angry phase. I would not take mushrooms because i already knew that where you were going that it would tap into that ugliness that that i was trying to deal with right so i stood away from it because i knew and i just stood hard smoking the weed to keep me cool once i got over 
all that crap I was angry about then and just let it roll off, I could then do mushrooms again because I was in a better state of mind and I wasn't going to let that dominate and take me on a ride I didn't want to be on. And I, I think that's important. I get it. Yeah. If you're not in a good space, mushrooms aren't, that's not a good choice. Yeah. Um, uh, hang ups. It can go, it can go, it can go deep. Yeah. If you like got that, like you know? some massive hang ups, guilt, yeah. insecurities, you got to be around people that could help you through that and like, so that you could snap out of those negative thoughts that might come. Yeah. I'm not going to meet you at that portal. And if you're, oh. and if you're, <laughs> listen, here's the thing, and they always tell you if you got hang ups of any sort, do not be looking in the mirror at yourself while you're, while like, you're shrooming or on acid. You'll see it. You'll see it, and then it, it gets ugly because you're already in a negative state of mind. Right. Leave the mirrors alone. Just enjoy the things you're seeing and embrace it and, yeah. and let your mind be open. A good mushroom buzz is hard to beat, though. I agree. Oh, when, hell you get yeah. the, when you get the right amount. The yeah, right amount. The, right. When you nail it, mushrooms is, is an unbeatable, enjoyable experience, yeah. you know? Excellent. We got it down Not on that. Not so much at Disneyland. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it can why. Be a little yeah, overwhelming. I think that's why most folks do like micro and moderate doses yeah. now, you know, because I think that's like the medium right there. Like we've been in the melt, you know, yeah. which that's <clears throat> the psychedelic part of it. But like we did this show one time on, on moderate doses and it was hilarious. We could not stop laughing at each other, but like at what we were saying, not necessarily yeah. at each other. Um, yeah, it puts you in a different state of mind. If you're depressed or angry, You'll boom. You'll start crying, dude. Moderation doses for your ass. If if you can't figure out why you're so mad all the time and you want to, like, ease up, micro or moderate doses to, of mushrooms. To be fair and to add a disclaimer to what you're saying, Be Real, is that <clears throat> there there is a point where you can be where it's past mushroom fixing and it, it's going to just be mushrooms and maybe some you know, some therapy or something like that, because there's somebody. Some oh of yeah, us, some of us wait forever, and then you hear this noise, news like this. They're like, "I'm just gonna take an eighth and just see if it." I'm like, "Hey, dude, you're gonna cry it out, but the, sh the, the you know, the elephant's not." An eighth is not moderate, gone. dog. An eighth is not moderate. Yeah, no, but what I'm saying is, there's people gonna be like, "Oh, I've heard this could, uh, you know, like uh, better my mental health because I I got shit yeah. in the closet." And then, sure enough, they they'll, they'll think that this is the way out. But it's like, no, nah, man. If you're if you, if it's the bigger the problem is, the more type of like alternatives. You well, know if you're gonna to go, find. if you're gonna do that, go do that with a licensed therapist who who now is That's doing exactly that, who who is now doing that because a lot of them have now like embraced that aspect like of their Ooh. patients doing microdoses and stuff like that to help them get past certain things. Like that's you know, I tour, think tour guide. it's legal. Tour guide, you need a bit, you definitely need a, you tour, need a guide. tour guide, a yeah. shaman if, of some sorts. Well, not necessarily a shaman for that, but definitely someone that's a guide that understands where you're going and, and how to connect the dots for you. That's, that's what I meant. Like a shaman is a form of a spiritual guide. So like it's a spiritual yeah. guidance. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, for therapists, it's not necessarily, necessarily spiritual. It's cerebral, right? Yeah. Um. If you're doing ayahuasca or peyote, then yeah, shaman, because that's spiritual. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard for me to look at anything that requires me to shit myself. It's a, it's a, it's a the purge. The it's purge is real. It's 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 your yeah. body like detoxifying right there. I heard that like throw up comes out of like places that you're, yeah it's, yeah that you're it's, just because I've rough. looked into it and I'm just like well ayahuasca they got ayahuasca they got to have buckets around so that you could shit in. When, cause when it hits, yeah, cause you're, that's a part of the thing. And also, oh. you're also in the middle of fucking nowhere. Well, pe with peyote, you throw up. With the ayahuasca, you shit. No thanks. Right, but okay, okay. So I'm there asking. are these there are these groups that you're saying that there's these groups that they go out yes. together and they have a shaman. Yes. And yes. they do the ayahuasca. Yeah. And it's there. They have to go ahead and yes. uh, shit in the bucket. Yes. So, and they're paying for this. Yes. Yeah, no bucket shit. And they, and they have an experience. Yeah, but that's a part of it. That's a big part of it. That's a big think. part of it. Well, Shitting you know, you're you're detoxified as you're having this spiritual, you know, experience. Yeah, and they do these in groups, though. I don't want to smell other people's detoxification. I think they have it down <laughs> to where it's it's you know 
No, <laughs> I've seen one on this on Netflix. I think it's called Psychedelics or Mind Trip or something. And they did ayahuasca, and there was like five people in a room just violently throwing up and shit. Oh so knowing God. that I got to smell someone else's shit and throw up in a room, that wouldn't be. Well, you could house. choose to do it that solo way, or go solo, or you could choose to do it. You know, yeah, solo yeah. dolo. You know what I mean? But what is the what is the shaman doing as all of these people? I'll be laughing, shitting, and throwing up. I'll be like, look at these the making white. sure you ain't <laughs> making sure you ain't throwing up or shitting outside of that bucket. I'm, I'm pretty sure the last thing doing he's doing that. is laughing, bro. Yeah, they do. They do chanting. Yeah. They try to help people or pick them up or down or get them in a comfortable position. Usually, trying to help be a guide. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, from what I hear from those those ones. Yeah, they're supposed to be a guide, not laughing at you, dog. I mean, yeah. it's a spiritual <laughs> thing. No. They're doing it a lot. They're doing it a lot here locally. So there's yeah. guys coming up from 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 the jungle. So yeah, some folks up. go up to Peru to do it. Machu Picchu, right. yeah, places like that's this. the you know mm-hmm. the holy land for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And mushrooms too, like one of the first Americans who went and studied over there in Peru. It was from mushroom trips. I know there's they groups used it for God, you know. They there's, used it. There's groups of doing it doing it in Malibu. Yeah, Malibu, Malibu Calabasas, they're out there. There's parties I, yeah. I, I hear, yeah. Probably like a white guy with dreads, like dude. No, there's like there's, a shaman. <laughs> yeah. They have Definitely a walk. Oh, okay, good. I mean, yeah. you know, hey, listen, a shaman comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors, mm-hmm. Mr. Blaze. I know, but the ones in Malibu God have damn. dirty white feet and dreads. I know. Yeah, you may not be wrong about this. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you may not be wrong. You know, so, no, so, some of them, dude, from what, I, from what, I, from what I've, uh, you know, dabbled around and I've seen, they'll, they'll, they'll contact the right person and some guy, he's like, this is Julio. He came from yeah, like Peru. They might fly him yeah, in from Peru. The people in people, Malibu got the money to fly a dude yeah. from Peru. You're on it. Yeah, on it, I, I've That's been on exactly it. Exactly what they no, do. Bro. Pause. Pause. <laughs> hey, pause. Yeah, no, that's that seems more of a realistic. Game. Well, no, that's that's what they do. I mean, the folks in Malibu got money. Of they course, do. they're flying homie. You know, a shaman from lima or somewhere out there to come perform this deal if the pro- promoter was smart he'd pick up like a random dude and be like hey man i'm gonna put you in a headdress see that's not see, that's bucks. not that's not good karma kelly it's terrible i'm just saying like that. what are you talking about then i'm talking about what people do people are scumbags they what? Do yeah. easy do ways up. this guy nah, came from these, peru these people are got him at home depot for 80 bucks you need him up. help in your life yeah? what do you need mm. <laughs> i'm telling you dude. what do you got over there pedro Oh yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> Mr. Shot quality over there. All right. We got we got shot quality going on. I almost asked when I sat down actually, you know, so always you got to you got to watch the watch the cans. I'm yeah. used to it from being an actor, you know. Yeah. It happens. Word up, man. Uh some of them some of the different shamans though before we get off that subject are like that's their mix too you know what i mean this guy's yeah. coming to cook you're basically paying for a cook True. that's gonna watch you while you're there you know what i'm yeah. saying and not yep. for nothing to speak to cali blaze's point yeah. like in yeah. anything some of them are fucking frauds of course but there's a lot of good ones but there's, there's a lot of great something, ones yeah. somebody's gonna fake it yes yeah. somebody made always a, a scam yeah Somebody made a fake profile of my government name yesterday, bro, and I was getting tagged in it. They were friend requesting. Oh man! You know, just I, then, I was like, I thought to myself, I was like, "Fuck! I should have had that one." That was that was. I get this every <laughs> other day. Like people are, or whoever these folks are, man, they're creating, you know, fake profiles and like trying to fish our fans and followers. Look, I only got got one, but but one account. That's it on IG. It's blue checked. It's be real. I don't got no, you know, backup accounts. None of that. Th- same with be real TV. You know what I'm saying? So if you get anything from something that's not from the original be real TV or any of that, pff, it's not us. And th- but they do this, and you can report them. And IG doesn't do yeah, they don't shit do much. about it. Yeah. You could even explain what they're doing to them, and they're, well, we found that they have not violated, <coughs> and blah, 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 and they'll just leave it up. Like it's a fan page or something, and it's clearly not. Well, they had the worst. You could even, like, report it and, and show the text that they've sent to someone phishing them, and it's still not enough for them to, like, bring that account down. The, 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 the whole service thing is all fucked up, and it's being run by bots, so you're not going to get an answer about anything. Hey, from, I don't know if Nothing. I'm wrong, but from what 
Aton told me that the reason he got that blue check is now he paid for it. He was like, I'm open about it, but he might have a good point. He said he can call customer service yes. now. So no, that is a, that's worth it. That's man. great. That's yeah. actually worth it. And I'm going to do it. And I'll put a post. Hey, my check is paid for. I'm paying for customer service, not clout. Like I ain't looking for fake clout with the, the blue check, but I want somebody I can call if my account goes down. Yeah, bro. I don't yeah. Know. Not an email. Or, or you could even call them and say, hey, look, yep. here's all the impersonators of my account. Right. What can you do about yep. it? So that's worth the But money. they don't do shit for me. I'll mm. tell you that. I, I just got out of IG jail. I'm still trying to get out of Facebook jail. Terrible. I did not know you could call customer service. I didn't know there was a number. If you pay for the blue check. They all got a number. Yeah. So yeah, so all the legacy blue You're not pay, you not call no one. The legacy blue Call check. me now. Call me now. And right they're now. leaving they're leaving on four twenty. So Yeah, they're gonna be out of the office on four twenty. If so you don't <laughs> pay if you don't pay for your blue check, it's gonna be gone on four twenty. Mm. Yamas. Yamas pay. Hello, how are you? Customer service. Hmm. That's crazy. Uh, look, we want to remind you that tomorrow is Thursday, so we got a mix popping off on Twitch. B underscore Real TV is the place, like you see right here. All right. I will be handling the mix. So come on and join us. Uh, you know, Psycho Leezy's out for a few weeks. But I will be holding it down, and on Friday, the rest of us will be popping it off. So join us on Twitch. B underscore Real TV is the place. We appreciate your ears and eyes. If you got a Twitch account, join us. If you don't, but you got an Amazon Prime account, you could create a Twitch account monthly subscription for free and get down with these mixes uh, that we uh, put put down. And we're going to have some guest mixers come in and... Uh, you know, do some do some damage on the ones and twos, if you will. So join us on Twitch, all right? And we thank everybody that joined us yesterday. And salute to Bankroll Hayden for uh, joining us um, yesterday. Make sure you check out his album, 29. Get tickets to the 29 tour. He's got a show coming up in San Diego. Uh, represent. All right. All uh, right. He looked like the, the guy there. who ran across Sprint. the field yesterday. Say what? Uh, the guest yesterday looked like the guy who ran across the field at the LAFC game. Did Just he get hair? Did he get tackled? <laughs> yeah, there yeah, was a. They got him good. Yeah. yeah, they got. Well, it wasn't that good. Uh, you know, I mean, he stopped. Uh, he stopped, and when you let somebody just ram into you and you just stop. You're gonna feel that. That's what happened. I wanted to see him get tackled by uh, the big security guard. He came, well, he came walking out there. He came walking like storming out there. Is there footage of this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's uh, Mr. Photographer Aton should have pictures of it if he was doing his job. Just he wasn't. Was he was right there. He was, yeah, you only got the him. We probably got somebody field. else's footage of it. Yeah. <laughs> Squints, I see you got some jaws over there. What are you working on? Any strains right now that you got out that you're excited about? Or uh, Yeah, so I have something new coming called RPG. Um, that's like my next uh, uh, big release. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, nice. The artwork for it is dope. You know, nice. presentation is nice. Uh, another jar is this Valley Girl. Mm -hmm. Another one from my Squints line. Nice. And then, and then I brought some Wendy, which is like my, uh, you know, my. Nice. I like that. My one. number one, you know, my number one girl, so to speak. Yeah. So, you know, brought a little bit of, a little bit of, you know, fresh, fresh. Does she come with Lisa? Does she come with Lisa? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lisa might be next, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, while we're at it. I, I did the Liz, um, <laughs> the Liz with Westside and, uh, you know, my partners at Foreign Genetics, so. You know, because Prince had Wendy and Lisa. Did he? Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Well, so shit. You should do that. Lisa got to go. <laughs> easy, easy. Um, yeah, I love when the things come organically, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's how, they, hey, all the best things roll out that way. That's true. Like the weed we smoke. That's for sure. Mm. I told him, dude. Uh, yeah, as 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 um, Baby Bass says, don't panic. It's organic. Uh, what were you gonna say? Apparently, Aton does not have that footage. I'm pretty sure. Of course, he does wow. not, because we would have saw it by now. Yeah, right here for you guys. But here it goes. Taco, 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 taco. He's getting away. He's yeah. getting away. He's getting away. Look, so every filming. time he fakes somebody out, he thought he faked somebody out, and then he just. And then he gives up. Oh. You know, so when he just stopped and because he was winded.
You know, that's traditional. You have to get that. <laughs> Look, he juked that guy, though. Yeah, yeah. so people kind of cheered when he juked him. If I was security, I'd kick him right in the throat as he's going, hi -ya. He's an underage minor. <laughs> Good. No, I was Fuck looking. And then, ah. Uh, I was looking at the main security. I main saw him security security guard. Guard. at the after the game. I saw him in the back of the cop car, and his mom was talking to her to what I presume to be his dad on the phone. He was like, I told you your son's a jerk. I have to get him. I leave the house. He's at the game. And it's just, it's just fucking going. It's just, just like going out of the officers, like <laughs> right there. And like he's standing in front of the, he's he's, start, he's standing in front of the, the, the window so nobody can see him. And you just see him. It's like, oh, it's fucking just stupid. <laughs> I told you your son's a jerk. Dad, that's, that's, that's like, cool. oh, that is oh my God. <laughs> Yo, it's like about that's mama talking. That was like about ten minutes left in the whole game, at this point. And I don't know what he was doing. Mom's was probably like, "Son, what the fuck?" Nah, she was mad. She looked like the way that mom was talking. She looks like she's pretty good friends with the principal at whatever school he went to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh my she had to speak God. with the principal. The way that time. Forrest Gump's mom did. Nah, like this right. this teacher did not there's not there, <laughs> she goes the hell of times to the dean's office because I'm pretty sure her kid does like spontaneous shit like this all the time. He's got problems. Your mom I, sure I, just I, care about your education, boy. I I just was looking at for the head of security of the LAFC to go out there and just like give him a couple of punches. I'm <laughs> sure in those tunnels once they nah, got they can't the tunnels, punch him. They I, just I gotta know. subdue him. Mm -hmm. But but he was just coming out there, he was marching out there. He was not running where other people were running. He was marching out there. It looked like like the like the 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 head dude in uh, Midnight Express. See, that's when the drum line should have been having his 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 come out music. Dum 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 dum. You know what I'm saying? That would have been awesome. All right, it's time. All right, we got a bunch of submissions in today. First one of the day, we got Adam up in here saying he's having a couple pulled pork sandwiches before the show. Oh, oh you bastard. All right. Pulled pork. He's pulling his pork. Very beef. Bart's of you. On some little biscuits. Just little buns. He's That's got a little salad little in the back. <laughs> he's got a little itty bitty salad. Yeah. That's like three croutons with ranch. That's not a bad portion. <laughs> I'm serious, bro. <laughs> three, two leaves of lettuce. It's three, three croutons. It's, it's two croutons. leaves. Four croutons with lettuce. Right. Two leaves sliced up into four pieces. <laughs> That's rice That's and bread, salad. dude. There's more dressing than the salad. And corn. Three different starches basically going there. Yeah, and croutons. Yeah. Every single thing is as a carb. Remember that Nice thing. work. Don't drown your foods. <laughs> Don't Probably drown tastes good, food. though. All right, yeah. three different kind of corns, raw, half cooked, <laughs> and cooked all the way. Uh, Holy shit, dude. Oh we got Dean God. Jones up in here saying, My favorite brewery in, is called One Drop. This is for E Zone. I call their head brewer the Willy Wonka of craft beer. Looks good. That looks like a very great hazy. It looks very tasty. It looks like it's done right. It looks very monkish, like monkish brewery out here. That's a great hazy. Oh, that looks real good right there. That looks very refreshing, although I hope that it's more on the sweet side as compared to the tart sour. Are these beers heavy as I think they are? 5.3. Uh, no? Oh, no, no. I meant like heavy in the they're, stomach. They're strong. Yeah. But no, I don't, they I don't, can be. Yeah. They can be. It depends on the drink. Very smoothie-ish. The, the ones that he's that, that e -Zone's brought through, I never felt were heavy except for the stouts because the stouts are traditionally heavy. Yeah, the... the the stouts are uh, the, anything dairy based is going to be a little bit more heavier on the stomach. Yeah, and some of the newer beers, like uh, the smoothie ones, and some of the seasonal stouts do ca do carry a lot of uh, dairy. I would fuck with all those though. I got to bring some in. I got to stop without. Uh, you know, it was becoming too ha habitual. So, I had yeah. To no, you can't have too many beers. Cannot. We got a little barbecue submission sent in by Eric Bobo. Wow. Oh, I see a nice file cabinet of chicken. A valid, I think valid this is going to get some, like, toxic 
chemicals burning them you file know, cabinets. This, 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 the, that I is, know. yeah, I mean, <laughs> the just paint. want you to know, yeah, like, I think there's gonna be some toxic metals in that thing. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, I mean, it, hey, ingenuity. Ingenuity for awesome. sure. Awesome. With but, possible lead poisoning. But possible something. Lead I mean, poisoning. I'm looking at the side right <laughs> yep, there. Exactly. See what I mean? That's telling, that's telling me a lot. <laughs> it's not good. Oh, that's some uh, questionable I mean, it's a pretty, shit. It's a pretty cool idea, <laughs> it is. but. Um, that chicken tastes like file cabinet. Hey, yeah. hey, would you tell would you tell him no if homie made you a plate though? I don't know. I'm not trying to die, man. I like, did you cook it in this? I like, yeah, I don't think so. But well, you know, this couldn't be the first <laughs> time he's doing it, and he seems to be alive. Yeah, yeah, but for how long? See him in five years, though. I mean, might. it looks good. It looks good. It look definitely looks. I mean, good. look at him. He's old. Dude, that shit looks like it's going to give him Alzheimer's <laughs> in like the next five so years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I mean if, if, if the homie kicked the bucket in a couple of years, nobody would have said, damn, it was them ribs. It was yep. the ribs <laughs> and the lakes right there. The lakes on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> it oh, seems man. like he's eating good. Uh, he's All right, I ain't going to front. If he, if he offered me a plate, I'm fucking it up. Is they give us oh, some meat from that I third foul? I feel bad file. telling him no just because he, <laughs> <'cause laughs> he got, you know, he looks like he might he might be the dude around that that neck of the woods. Let, you me, know? Get, let me get some of that second and, and top I'll file. take top draw. Oh, man, I need <laughs> I need that first file <laughs> and a little bit of that third file. I need some of the link file. Bring it. That, some of the chicken in the middle, you know what I mean? Just the chicken looks good though. It yeah. does look good. It all looks good. It's just it doesn't look good. very peculiar. <laughs> yeah. He looks way too comfortable. Man, uh, no, this is his shit. This is his thing. Yeah. He says, I ain't spending no money he's on that. He's probably put thing. grills on you know, on all those things. I mean, yeah, he had to do some work. He had that. to probably modify it, but like what you what you ain't modifying is the inside of that file cabinet. <laughs> what Man, it's made of. And yeah, what it's made of. Exactly. That's a smoker right there. That's, that is the smoker. smoker. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, that is the smoker, smoker yeah. Right yeah. The smoker's on the bottom. I oh, sent that to Bart's. I said, you fucking with this? And this is a straight smoker. It you is. know, like he's just... Because there ain't no, you know, doesn't seem like there's no prop propane attached to none of that shit mm -hmm. right there. Oh. Man, he smoked out all the, like, the, the lead, the, the paint that was on the inside. Into yeah. the chicken. Into, yeah. Well, that's what <laughs> Cali Blaze was talking yeah, about I in think. the first place. Yeah. In the first. <laughs> yeah. Man. Well, you know, hey, he MacGyved that. He did. <laughs> he did all of that. He definitely didn't. It looked good. The MacGyver Q. And we got this sent in. What do you guys think of the stuffed pancake? All right. Mm. Okay. Damn. Interesting. Holy shit, dude. Holy oh shit, dude. God. Yeah, I could do that. I'm in for sure. Oh, oh you're God. fucking with me now. Yeah, I'm going to eat it. How much you want to bet Bart's is coming by? I'm Bart's. I'll make this. Dustin, we want to see this from you. Yeah, but he'll add like seven hundred and forty-four thousand no, no, calories. You don't gotta add the brisket. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> don't add the brisket. Well, Just do not... as we are seeing here. Right with brisket. Yeah, brisket. mine has seven, right, know, seven yeah. pieces of bacon. It ain't a pancake without a brisket. <laughs> Quarter <laughs> pound of pastrami. <laughs> like I can't eat that. I'm gonna die. What about a gallon of barbecue sauce? <laughs> what about brisket bacon? <laughs> Make brisket. Need brisket. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't. I can make brisket bacon. <laughs> Steroids. <laughs> Steroids. He said, take out the brisket. He says, nah. nah. <laughs> he says, nah. <laughs> oh, shit, yes. Holy shit, dude, is what he would say if you asked him to leave out the brisket. Oh. All right, next. And we got the hawk up in here saying, snag nine pounds of New York thin sliced loin from Costco. Yo. Snag. I love that. That's where we, when I made those like uh, Philly cheesesteaks, that yeah. was from that right there, Costco. It's hard to find. They cut it real thin. Yeah. So you make real cheesesteaks. That's, That's a nice cheesesteak. Right? And you can f barely find it. They don't always have it. So you, they have it stuck up. You got to chop them. Beef lawn. It's gotta, great, man. You got to chop them. Yeah, because it's hard to cut it. It's got to be like frozen for you to get it thin like that to cut it. You must, It'll just make it mush. You yeah. must do the chop. They do it proper. See, yeah. I you could still, do that. You still should have chopped it more. Chopper. Yeah, I chopped it. fire. Chop it more, my. Yep. There chopper. he goes. He's making a cheese. That's steak, a whole man. lot of chop you need to be doing. Yep. Remember when Dustin we like ruined the set? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a dick, man. <laughs> He's such a dick. He randomly says it almost every episode. Same thing as Godfather with the 
Remember that time that GF broke the stun? It's the same here. thing. Yeah. <laughs> only you said it right now. I do. I'm just lying <laughs> what he does. All right. <laughs> but yeah. I did it. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> and we got uh, El Masudo up in here saying, saw Cypress for the first time 31 years ago. Well, all right. Real powerful. It was $10. Look at that. 92. God Big dang. difference. Yeah, pre-sale. Pre-sale, yep. That's a real ticket. That's a ticket. Yep. Damn. 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 Starting at 6 o'clock. Yeah, we was going on early. Rap Fest 5 or 6 featuring Cypress. Four? Is that four? Yeah, that's oh. four. Yeah, that's four. Number wow. four. Rap Fest four. I don't even remember what that was. Yeah, was it just a? Was it just a show? Uh, that was that was right before me. Right before you. Before we met. Yep. When you had a Jerry Curl, son. Next. And we got Inner Realms up in here saying, "I've been grinding with my homie and finally caught a deal to press up four hundred records distributed around the world." Awesome. All right, congratulations, Mike. Hell yeah. Congratulations. Put out that work. Mine. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. And he's saying, I'm smoking on some fire. Got some Mendo breath. All right. I, I love Mendo that breath. That looks like a pretty good joint right there. Hefty. It does. Nice funky. Yeah. What's his name, Colton? Uh, this is Inner Realms. Oh, yeah. Salute to him. He made like the intro for my, my podcast. Oh, it's homie. Yeah. No, cool. oh, Salute. So and he got some fire right there. Look at that. Fire beats, fire weed. That's right. And we got Kiko from the South up in here saying he found Bobo's car down in Texas. Yep. Abandoned. Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> oh, shit, they found the car. What are you doing with that car? It's a Kia. <coughs> yeah, that was that was the burner car. What's your burner car? <laughs> you know, like a burner phone, it's just burner car. <laughs> it's, it's, my, it's my buddy car. And buddy. Easier to get around, you know, yeah. out there in Texas because it was wanting me for a minute. But I mean, it's a fucking Kia. And we got McLovin up in here saying went to Green Thumbs LAX one year anniversary with, and one year anniversary with my girlfriend and picked up some insane and some Lotto mints. Well, all right. Got the goodie bag and had lots of goods in it. Shout to Rojo, Psycho Leezy, and Pedro the awesome. Rolling Champ. Yeah. Damn. I you, pulled up. I got some free tacos. Tacos were good, huh? The tacos were fire. Salute to the you know I, I don't know they I got I featured them on the on my Patreon. We don't smoke you could tell them who they were. I, I forget their name, but I'd make oh. sure I had them shout themselves out. That's why I'm like, if you want to know who they really are, they'll be up by Friday. And uh, yeah, I had two of those. And then they had the the ice cream people, the the ice people. And then they had, I saw you had a gorilla suit pull up there. I wasn't there. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, you had the the Dr. Green Thumb Skull guy. You were there signing autographs in that bus. And yep. It was pretty cool. I was there, peeped it out for a little bit. The Calacas crew was up in there. Yeah. I did not go inside the shop, though, because that line did not go down at all. It was a long line. Yeah, and I was like, man, I ain't, I'm good. I'll come back. Salute. Next. And next up in here, let's see. We got Eddie up in here saying he saw a funny car on his way to work today. Oh, that's so that's so not a school. funny car. That's a classic, bro. That's a classic yeah. right there. Funny <laughs> a a car. funny car, Because bro? it still has the, I think he's talking about the Impeach Hoover on the back. Uh, Look. From way back in the day. They had bumper stickers in that time? Yeah. Yeah. That's a classic that's car. That's a classic right car right there, boy. They kept it in good shape, obviously. Yeah. Well, well done. It's not a funny car. It's probably like from the 30s, that one right there. <laughs> and we got Midgey Mike up in here saying he made this for Cypress Hill. That's dope. Awesome. A little very dope. Excellent. And we got Mr. 87 create a photo of Aton, a little drawing. That's way cooler than Aton. <laughs> <laughs> Through that, yeah, he crushed that for sure. You gave him a bicep, like yeah, he's got, <laughs> like he's got big muscles. Oh yeah, don't do that, man. <laughs> look at how yeah. happy, look at how I'm happy he looks. Oh gee, <laughs> man, even his dog looks. No, he stop. These are misrepresentations yeah. of yeah. Aton and his dog. <laughs> he stopped stretching before the show. You know, you notice that. You know, you know how he get his stretch on. It's like, well, why are you stretching? You didn't paint the shot collar either. Mm. <laughs> Put the shot <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
And we got Balls Mahoney up in here saying, my brother Neo, the one, 1981, surprised me with a new T-shirt today to wear at Tacos and Tequila this Saturday in Phoenix. Boom. That's right. We got a show in Phoenix, Tacos and Tequila. We'll be up there. Julio G on the ones and twos. Is it like you're going to a, a store that's already existing out there? No, this or? is a, a show. Oh, it's a show. I thought it was. A, it looked like a dispensary flyer. No, no. They have, um, you know, some I, things happening at the show. Oh, I thought it was a. I seen it. I was like, damn, that's a dispensary in uh, Phoenix. I was like, that did happen tomorrow. <laughs> like you said, I was like, damn. But that that's cool. And we have and we have a flavor dropping in um in a dispensary down there. So there is a shop that will be having that will have some green thumb flavor. Yes, that's cool. So. Finally, Arizona's going to be oh, happy. So... Arizona's a great market. It's a great market. Yeah. That's what we're looking to do some over there soon. It's also number six where all the most snakes in America are at. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> random. Yeah, yeah God. It's good I know. I, yeah, I just learned all those states. Oh, yeah. You go to a truck stop at night down there, like, but one that's off by the desert. Yeah, sometimes there'll be some rattlesnakes over there. They actually are home to four. All four species of rattlesnakes in that state, so it's very dangerous. Better than Jedi. That's why they wear boots. Mm hmm. Word. Yeah. yeah. We got Smokestack Mac up in here saying, got two packages from E Zone's What Not Orders. And he's saying, just like Ice Cube said, today was a good day. Awesome. Oh, you're welcome, dog. Yeah, I had a, I had um. I had an auction, uh, a whatnot for all the for these pendants that I had come up on. And um, there was a lot of deadhead stuff. I don't know, dude. I don't know what the whole thing with the. Well, I, I mean, I can understand why, you know, because music. But them deadhead motherfuckers are they, they're out there, bro. They, oh yeah, yeah they, sure. They still want those fuzzy teddy bears. No, they are loyal. Bears. They are loyal. Yeah, they are loyal. And they they pass that down to their kids. Yeah, yeah. no, they do. That's, that's I was surprised. I thought I was like deadheads get younger. Yeah, I mean, even if they're not doing any shows or any tribute thing, or whatever. They pass that music down, the whole vibe down to their kids, and they'll they'll do like deadhead like road trips and everything. And it's a big it's a big thing. I got invited in college a bunch of times to see Grateful Dead. So yeah, you know, be be out for a week. Um, nah, I ain't trying to do all that. But a lot of people they love the experience. Well, because their fans would travel around with the tour. Yeah, exactly. You know, I didn't know a song from them or whatever, but. It wasn't about that. That's a know? different level of dedication, right there. Yeah. Yep. You know, when you okay, I'm taking a week off from work because I'm I'm going to follow, follow the dead. Those fish people do the same thing. Well, yeah, they yeah, they were birthed just from is, that. Yep, yeah, exactly. My my uncle was that exact era, so yeah. it was like yeah. Then he went Grateful Dead to fish, and I was like, all right, they're trying to yeah. like they're trying to catch a few shows. It's yeah. a traveling show. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and people yeah. follow them literally, just follow the tour. That's what's crazy, how many people actually at every show. Yeah. Yep. You want to talk about mushroom and acid sales? Sure. <laughs> Definitely. Off Those the roof. Off the <laughs> they invented You ain't it. lying. Yeah. <laughs> you they sell, invented you sell it. That was now. the marketplace. <laughs> That's the, that was the original marketplace. Especially <laughs> Grateful right Dead, yeah. It's the marketplace, oh, you know? That was the hippie movement. Yep. Bring it. And we got Mike up in here saying, smoke and scan the other night, and they were chasing a street racer. When they got pulled over, they found a NOS tank and a bag of balloons in the car. Oh, oh my. Wow. Bro, how many people? Did you see the dead bodies the other day in that chat? Yeah, those two chicks. Oh, and then a the body part, you know, like yeah. two girls, NOS and in, in driving. I think it was, on what, on the one time? Uh, dude, I already told you, man. I made a PSA straight up on my podcast. Dude, you can't do that. I was like, hey, man, we're all same team, but there's no way I'm going to tell anybody out there you should not be driving while while taking shouldn't be part. standing while take sit while, down yeah like you shouldn't be standing period it's most right. enjoyable while sitting down but you should not be putting yourself behind the wheel because no. you will you you think you i don't yeah. i don't know what mind you think you got it cuz i know uh, with my experience no, I don't. I have never crossed no. my mind. Uh, no, no, it's cool. Let me just let no me. Oh, I got, yeah, no, no, no. It, it just doesn't appeal no to me. Way. The Wawas and automobiles do not mix. Yeah, yeah. Wawas. Yeah, the Wawas. Yeah, that's, 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 that's that sound. <laughs> yeah, that shit. That shit in cars. That's a. That's a. That's a good way to end up fucked up with some other people fucked up. That's right. That's yeah. the wah, 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 wrong way. <laughs> don't do it. All right. And we got Mindful Zen up in here saying, super excited about Desert Blaze event. Hope you guys continue to do these. Um, this upcoming of 
This upcoming event will be an incredible lineup, and no joke, they got my all-time favorites, Be Real and Sugar Free. Well, all right. I thought DJ oh, Quick was on this, too. The doctor and the pimp. But all right, let's go. Epic. It's going to be dope. We finna do it. Bring it. And we got levitated up in here saying, future's so bright, I got to wear shades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Chilling with his doggles. Got Dominic the Dominator. Dog like the dog. Yep. Yeah. He's chilling, man. The Doginator. He looks cool. No shot collar, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He's like, I see, I see what you can't see. Me shining. <laughs> All right, next. And then we got Red Boy up in here showing off his dog going after the possum. The dog closed. His tail stopped. Oh, I thought I thought he was going to chase him. Well, he wants to. Yeah. There when is the, glass. Is the door there? Yeah. When, the, when the tail stops is when he's thinking about it. it. It's a glass door. He's not. He's not stupid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah. They could be dumb enough. <laughs> they could be. Yeah, but I mean, he's right in front. I'm pretty sure he's not going to jump right. Well, if his nose is at the glass, then he knows. Is this whole video just him looking at this yeah, possum? Yeah. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Come on, man. Open the fucking door or something. Give us something to watch. I love dogs, but at least open the door. Well, this is all we're getting. Uh, you could go to the next. Give me some. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, got, yeah, there you go. We got Miroslav up in here saying, I will grow this drain this year all the way from the Czech Republic. Boom. There you go. It's a good strain. That's what's up. I can't believe that that person still has that. Those are so old. Yeah, they're pretty old. Those are they're like, stored right. They'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, they'll you, be good. If, if you stocked up enough of them. Yeah. You, might oh. have a, you might have a winner in there. Yep. Pop them seeds, know. bro. Yeah, it's always a lottery, man. I've seen a few grow it like right and uh yeah it popped off what is that m dog yeah i would like to try that in this in, in this current market what was the lineage on that i can't remember i have to look look it up it was, oh, it was, it was a while a cross, back. yeah it was a while back i mean how many years back was that that was before my time but i know i'm very familiar with what that is like because yeah. uh, all your fans <laughs> on, <laughs> online it says across the OG Kush and Chem Dog number That's four. Right. That's right. Gas. Yeah. Gas pack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very gas. Imagine. And it looked good when they grew it right. Imagine the rosin on that right now. Oh, that would be nice. nice. Bring it. That's That's rosin. Put a hash hole. Boom. Who are you calling a hash hole? <laughs> and I got a few jobs for you guys to check out. How would you guys like to do this? Nah. No. Fuck you. I've seen this. No, yeah. thanks. No. So. Pass. No. Come on, dude. Fuck the ocean, dude. Respectfully. Word. <laughs> yeah. No. Colton, did you get the one I sent directly to your IG? The, yeah, the just got it downloaded. The ocean okay, will cool. swallow your ass up. No. It sure will. And this dude's like no. waiting for it. Like, come on, that thing can pull you right overboard, bro. These guys got one of the most dangerous jobs they in do. the world. They, they get paid some good money, though. They get paid. It, 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 it ain't enough. It ain't right, enough. It but ain't it, enough. It, like, if 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 you if you're like, hey man, no, nah, if you ain't I, got nothing else going, yeah, you're here for three months, come back with a couple hundred racks. Yeah, but I get it. Like, the problem is, is not everyone gets that. And some of these boats don't find crab. They're out there. For all that time they come back you gotta be with grand. the right skipper yeah like if you were ready you for do you gotta, you gotta get the product yeah bro if you don't you're up. out there for nothing you only get paid on what you catch dude if it's a great catch, it, it's out. a great job if like you're in the situation never if you were ready if you weren't ready for a kid number one and then kid number two unexpectedly comes <laughs> get your ass on that boat dog because you know you gotta provide oh <laughs> like but you also gotta yeah, survive too, and, so and you gotta be able to take those waves Word. That more than anything, because people get motion sickness easily, and those are some of the roughest waves in used, the world. They I, are. You would get used to that. I would you, you would gotta get be used grow to up it. with it. You got. You're not just like. Yeah, I know, but you I mean, bro, on a boat. You, you're on a boat like every day, bro. You're gonna be throwing yeah. up bre breakfast, <laughs> lunch, and dinner. Yeah, not them. They're gangsters. They don't throw up. I would, and I don't no. get seasick. No. But I sure. As none of those guys. None of those guys will take someone who is not ready to go out. Yeah. And if someone were to go out and they're like throwing up every other day, they can't work. No. 
Exactly. And so they won't take them. Their greenhorns are still trained. Like, these guys have been on boats their whole lives. They're just, like, new to the boat. You know what I mean? Yeah. So not new usually to the business or the game, but they're just new to that ship. So, yeah, you can't just go out there, man. Those waves are no joke. These guys Those guys like, get paid so much because <laughs> it, there's not a lot of those guys that know how to do that job or yeah. that can do that job. Yeah. So It's th crazy. They're highly paid. <laughs> you got to just go ask them, be like, you're looking for a job. <laughs> yeah, crazy. I got a boat. Hey, yar, hit her, hit yar. Her. <laughs> <laughs> they just be disappearing off the boats, though. They hit the wave, and homeboy's just gone. Yeah, that, that's yo, that's they know, what and I'm they saying. know in like 35 seconds whether he's gonna live or not, because yeah. they're like, either we can get this fool, or that's right. Yep. yep. Or you just yeah. didn't see homeboy no more. And that's, that's and that's the whole shit. Yeah. The ocean will swallow your yeah. ass up. The missing rate uh, on 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 those boats, though, it is it is high up there. It doesn't get reported out there because necessarily. That's international. I mean, water. and you can't. There's, it's not like you can process. do a seek and find mission in the, the nah. water like that. Right, so these guys are like wait till it no. all simmers that down. That thing from Jurassic That's, Park, especially at night. To you, yeah. dude. You can't yeah. do it. <laughs> at night. There's no fucking way. Ah. But no in the daytime, yeah, even so, it's hard because I mean, where they're at, it's some of the they roughest water. They go to the waters. Russian border, all the way to the border. Like when you watch them, like yeah, that Bering chase that they're in the Bering Sea. Uh -huh. They, if the crab go deep enough and far enough. They're literally on the border, like that's how deep. You ain't finding these they guys if they go nah, down. Nah. By the time they go down, hypothermia, they're dead. yeah. Yes. Really? Even with a survival yeah. suit, they're dead in hours. Survival suit to keep you alive, I think a couple hours, but that's it. Yeah, they got to find yeah. you within those couple of hours <sighs> if you got a chance. Ballsy, man. Ballsy. Yeah, I'm good. Yep. Pass. 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 See what yeah, you do, right. Colton. Got another yeah. one. Got another one here for you guys. All right, here, let's go. <laughs> I've seen Lineman. this. Now, hold on. Before you even cut this, what else were you expecting, bro? Go ahead. What did you think was going to happen when you cut the only wire? Like, a dirt. Did he know he look, was cutting the only, only wire? Yeah, look. I've seen this clip. I was like, this is a setup. Co complete setup. There's only that wire. So <laughs> what did you think is going to happen when you cut your support <laughs> wire? Idiot. Look at his face like, of worry. Straight though, bro. setup. Yeah. <laughs> said, bro. <laughs> straight setup. You can't fool me, man. I got you. Yep. That's why they were filming. Because he's like, oh, I'm going to cut the only thing holding me up here. <laughs> <laughs> got you, bro. I mean, Jake's up. Your testicles go all the way up. It's not like there were two <laughs> wires there and he cut one and the other one broke. There was one cord holding them together. You yeah, cut it, yeah. you're going to fall. You'll be sounding. But he, was, he knew he was hooked up to the big part. You'll be sounding a bit high pitched. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, with that. Definitely, all would, the bass in your voice. <laughs> yeah. all, the all the bass in your voice is gone up there, <laughs> like that, bro. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> <laughs> gonna be falsetto like a. You gonna be falsetto <laughs> with a little bit of vibrato and help me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next. Okay. This one isn't too bad, but we'll see. How about this job? Oh hell, oh, hell no! I know. Oh hell. Hell no. That's no even more than the other one. Big time. Uh, exactly. Uh, even more no. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Who's the guy recording them? Him too. They're all they're all shit it. kickers, bro. Yeah. That's a they, crazy it, ass job. These guys make money doing this. They do. But they risk their lives every day. Yeah, man. Yeah. He's strapped down for sure. That's, he's got a harness, but still. Hey, they didn't used to be. Yeah, they didn't not at all. Yeah. 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 Not at all. Yep. And the, in New York, the, the steel workers and the glaziers who put in the glass, yeah. those are the most gangster guys because they're doing, like, before there's oh, anything no. there, they're just walking on beams and then putting in glass at, yeah, no, you know, no. 80 floors, 90 floors up. They're like, the nah, thrill-seeking motherfuckers that are Oof. skilled to do this because realistically, man, you got to be okay with some shit that uh, your average person would just collapse. It's like that uh, classic uh, photo of the guys sitting on one of the beams they're in New York. The lunch photo. Down. Right. And like, they're just sitting down. And it's just that one beam. Yeah. And there's- I know. Yeah, it's like, what? This is nothing yeah. to me. I mean, they're just chilling. Yeah. Yeah. No no safety, anything. They're eating. They're drinking. You got guys with yeah, flats. They're having lunch. They're having lunch. And they're all the way up. Oh, they, they climb down the beam. It's they crazy, man. There, yep. there was no ladders. Hey, they you would know, climb you, up and slide yep. down you better as they be were going. You better be in shape for that, too. Because realistically- well, that was zero there fear. There it is. That was zero Look at zero that. fear. Was that after the Great Depression? Uh, probably during. during. This is during. Like I think the Empire State Building got 
in the thirties, twenties or thirties. Check that one out. Like, Who took that picture though, man? That's the, the guy. Thing. So a they goat. just had a picture of the yes. guy. It came out online of Correct. him holding onto the beams, yes. taking this picture. Yep, exactly. He was in a vulnerable position. That dude was a Big G too. He sure was. He had to climb up them same yeah. things, man. They don't but, send just nobody to take yeah, that picture. I could never. I couldn't. I'm sick looking at that, bro. I couldn't. Yeah. Even, oh, no, nah, man. Nah, nah. Look at this, oh, bro. Yeah. All yeah. it takes is a gust of wind. You guys do realize that, right? New York is windy, bro. The gust of wind, it's... These guys didn't give two shit. Nope. They're no probably fear. drunk right now. Like any so no, dude, uh, dude they, they are tired, bro. You're yes. working in the middle. Of it. And they climbed up there. They're probably half drunk, There's too. nowhere else to be. They have to stay Damn. on this beam. <laughs> don't roll That's over. So not, don't, do roll not, over. Don't, roll over. <laughs> don't roll over. Don't roll over, fool. Crazy. <laughs> my, uh, my grandfather was an iron worker. He was a superintendent. Crazy. He built bridges all yeah. around the, the country. Yeah. That's how yeah. you know his kids were born yeah. in different areas. Portland, New York. Right. New York. Right. Yeah, yeah. He ended up in Pittsburgh. A lot oh, of bridges. Yes. Um, he's he's nuts too. They're gnarly dudes. They definitely yeah. are. They have <laughs> yeah. to be. Bridges are yeah. crazy to build. What are you nuts? See the yeah. pilings. They, they just gotta... walk them. You know, they're just nuts. daredevils. Yeah. Naturally, there it is. There yeah. he is. Yep. Look at that position. Fuck, he's, bro. He's on a, on an open beam, bro. He got in, suspenders in weird, on too. That is so up crazy. With the pants up. You got you got to have you got to have core strength. <laughs> oh, with this balls of steel, man. Wow. Core strength and look at his shoes. He's got what, like wingtips on? Yeah, those, yeah. those are not yeah. work that is, shoes. That is no, not those are wingtips. Yeah. Those, those aren't beam shoes. Those That's are cool. slippery as yeah, fuck. Like sure flat are. bottoms. Yeah, he's got flat bottom <laughs> wingtips right here. That is thugs. He's going to like the speakeasy. Fucking out with yeah. his suspenders. You know what I'm saying? That might be the only thing that'll help him. That's a G ass photo though, he, bro. Is, he's a G <laughs> himself. Hundred percent. Hey. Yeah, who took his photo? <laughs> who took, yeah, who that took photo? his photo? <laughs> <laughs> I got That's a it. Good, the ongoing good question, search. Dom. All right, next. And that seems to be it. Thank you for your submissions. Keep them coming to be real TV contest at gmail.com and we will put them on. It is now time to let the voices be heard from the insane asylum. If you've got a comment, question, shout out, suggestion, we want to hear it. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the Insane Asylum. Let's do this. All right, let's do it. We got Midget Mike up in here asking Squints, what was it like playing in Freaks and Geeks? A blessing. A blessing to be among comedic greatness. Um, You know, wish we could have done more. And we got Midget Mike back up in here asking, any crazy stories on making the Sandlot? Man, so many. We had we had a lot of fun. I got hit by one of the transpo vans running running oh, back shit. from the bathroom. <laughs> and I was I was young and I was running back to set and I was late and I literally he came out from I was running out behind a trailer and this fool hit me with one of the vans and oh, I just man. got up and just kept running. So he came to oh, set. Man. I feel bad for this poor kid, <laughs> this guy, because he he had to come to set and be like, I think I just hit one of the actors. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> he had to live with that. Yeah, luckily I was I was cool, but that's a cool story. Was the yeah. dog cool? There was, yeah, there was three dogs. So there was a big one, a medium size, and then like a smaller cat that did like most of the running scenes. And then there was the animatronic one. But yeah, they were, they were, you know, service animals. Okay. Service. Uh, you know, it's interesting in Hollywood, they say don't work with animals or kids. And the director, he sure had his, his summer filled with that, you know, yeah, nine kids and a dog, you know, but it came together. He you know, made, it, shouts it, made to, it happen. Shouts to David Mickey Evans. He's a G. It's a classic. And we got Legnatron up in here asking, um, did you like baseball as a kid in the Sandlot times? Yeah, baseball's great. It's a very, you know, wholesome American pastime. I was a big basketball fan. Um, it was the Michael Jordan era and then, you know, then Kobe as well. So, I, you know, I like sports in general. I think that, you know, athletic competition is a, is a good thing for, for the people. To bet on. Or, <laughs> that, or, or just in general. Yeah. Play, bet, to watch, enjoy. Like it, yeah, to, uh, to enjoy. And we got Dahlwind up in here saying, Dahlwind here, hello to everyone. Today I turned 29. Can I get a birthday shout out? Happy birthday, Dahlwind. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday Dahlwind. Happy yeah. birthday, man. Make sure, make sure you're smoking some good weed. You got positive vibes, positive people uh, surrounded with you. Celebrate, it. Celebrate yourself with your loved ones, man. Hey, getting into the 30s, don't be scared, dog. You're about to come into yourself, too. So, you know, embrace these times. 29 is a good, a good transition era, you know? That's right. You Buy buddy. some health insurance, dude. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Do I'll that. And we got Layer Cake asking the table, has anyone at the <coughs> table ever microdosed acid? Yeah. I have some gummies, too, bro. 
Is I had a friend of mine give me some of those gummies uh, on my podcast, and they have this microdose gummies acid now, right? Or you know, I, I did, but it ended up feeling like this, just a stronger version of mushrooms, but like it wasn't the mushroom high. I'm did you eat a couple? Yeah, I, that's why I, I, I took cause... I took like three of them, and I was just like, TV seems a little bit like Tinkerbell ish. Acid can be a little. A little I like a little acid. I just at moments, it's yeah. a little intense every now and yeah, then. Yeah, um, it can be. I've never done the microdose version. I always me did neither. the melt. Me too. I've they, never micro. They have gummies the though. I'll yeah. tell you that much. They have they have synthetic gummies. All right, cool. You let me know. And we got K Mac up in here saying, "Hate to admit it, but I'm actually kind of stoked for the Jake Paul Nate Diaz fight. Well, that's gonna be a good one." I hope so. That's good because realistically, you know, Nate ain't, ain't Nate ain't taking no. Nate is gonna try to take yeah. his head off for real, hundred percent, and he ain't gonna be shy about it. He ain't it. taking no dive, and he knows he how to box. Yeah. He could strike, man. He and, was and, a striker. And, yeah. Well, the thing is, is he knows how to box, yeah. like for real. I mean, he, he, you know, that was part of his training always, because the, the Diaz brothers were boxers too. Um, so this will be an interesting fight. When is that happening? Um, when is it happening? Um, I think August, it said. It's a while away. I'll pay to watch that. I would pay to watch I would that. August 5th. Okay. There you go. And next up in here, let's see. We got Monster Fuzz saying, I'm tired of seeing Star Wars stuff all over the TV and internet. What do you guys think? Turn the TV off. Um, watch <laughs> something else if you don't like it. I'm, I'm not, not stoked about it. I don't like that shit, and like I'll just turn the TV off or change the channel. Bro. Well, that's your problem. No, I'm just saying it's like, well, you, what do I walk in there? I'm not, I'm not a fan of the story, but I'm, yeah, I don't walk in at Disneyland when I go in there and be like, yo, fuck this land over here, you know, walking through Star Wars land. Do you, you guys know? think they're like doing too much with Star Wars or not? Um, I don't know if they're doing too much, but the, with you know what, with Andor, I I feel like they're doing too much. You know, I can see where they were. Thinking like, let's try to make this a little different, and that, not so much like about lightsabers and stuff like that. But is that really what? Yeah, nobody the, wants us. We want to see some Jedi shit. You yeah, saw the we black see Jedi or Sith or both. You saw the yeah. black yeah. Chewbacca. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's. He, uh, he was all wise. You know, yeah. Jedi's are they're like spiritual ninjas. They're like you know on some on some space shit. They're they have a few things coming right now in the chamber right there's one the visions right and that's like the animated series which is kind of dope it's all different anime anime the type of structures all with jedi and sith stuff in it it's pretty dope um and they have the ashoka whatever um i think that's how you yeah, say yeah. It. they have her series coming out and that looks like it's going to be pretty crazy um and then apparently they just announced more of like the new story with with the Ray character. Oh apparently. wow! Okay. So yeah, there's some more Star Wars. They ain't gonna do a, more Obi Wan, or that was just like a limited thing. Um, it I think it's up to you and McGregor because that was his baby. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So he's busy. Yeah, but I think he wants to do it. So it's just finding the time, I guess. Any vase. And we got lunchbox up in here saying the cold fire cart collab with Squints was fire. Gracias. Um, Cold Fire makes dope, dope ass carts. Probably the best in the game, and uh, we were happy to do that collab with them. It's one that I was stoked and uh, happy to be a part of. You also got a collab with Foreign coming up, right? Yeah. So we got a. Uh, we're gonna do a collab store. So um, those are my cultivation partners, and uh, you know we kind of have two brands that operate out of uh, you know one entity, so to speak. But uh, so we have a new retail. It's gonna open up in the valley. Um, Roscoe have, and Mason. They have one on Dope. Pico, right? Yeah, we have a store on Pico, two three two nine West Pico Boulevard, four in Los Angeles. Um, yeah, that's you know, the, that's the one by the post office. Yeah, we opened that in October. It's starting to hold its own and do well. It's in a good a little popping area on Pico right there, and yeah, you know, the heart of LA, West it, LA, right there. It used to be a hot ass area around it's there. It's still bro. hot, doggy. It's no, I the, know it's still hot. Yeah. Like, well, you, but it's like. At least you're not that close to the dead end parts. No, nah, but it's, yeah, you know, yeah. it's, it's it's the war it's, zone. It's still hot there, <laughs> though. I don't tell you that much. L A. It's, it's got all of the right elements to to to, to you know has. But to because, pop, but, L A. is hot period. But man. because it is, it's is that though, a couple years. A little FYI for all you guys out there. 
Don't even look for parking. You see how it's right there in the dead end? Just fucking park your car there, put the emergency lights on, and go in and out, bro. There ain't, no, ain't nobody yeah. gonna come tow your shit. Nobody's in the call. It just it's yeah, where you're at, nobody cares, bro. Just, no, no, yeah. we got we got broken into. They didn't come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They they slow to react. Uh but yeah, new store valley. Um we're happy to get a valley spot. These uh unfortunately these uh these retail license, like you don't have sensitive use doesn't allow you to have the property that you want or that you choose. So just to be in the valley, which is like our home and where we, you know, started at. Yeah. We're happy to have a spot there. Uh-huh. Congratulations on that. Thank you, Brad. Yep. And we got Utah Hawk up in here asking, does Squints have a favorite bar or restaurant when he visits Salt Lake City? Yeah, your mother's. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. He's dude. out That's there. very so. aggressive. Man. He lives out uh, there. So. Hey. Everything out there. I was just in Utah, actually, and it was uh, downtown was popping, bro. There's an, uh, I think I went, we went to Whitehorse. That shit was great. Um, downtown Utah has changed quite a bit. Uh, got yeah, I'm with fight. Huh? They got gentrified. It, they got like it's it's got like some bougie like dope like high end like little restaurants and shit like some boutique spots and you're like oh, okay Utah I see you like and it's comfortable you can walk around it's not it's not LA it's not where you got to be aware of your element or whatever and and Utah yeah. you feel like ah, I'm a chill I'm a I'm gonna go have chill, a yeah. drink and take a walk on the block and it's gonna be okay you know LA ain't you don't, been you don't, like that recently you don't right. gotta have your guard down exactly I mean guard up yeah, what's, straight what's, up what's the worst that could happen. Yeah. <laughs> true. True. Yeah, so go Utah. I, I see you. Yeah. And we got Donnie up in here asking Squints, what was your first concert? Uh first concert was was Red Hot Chili Peppers Rolling Stones at the the at the Rose Bowl nice. for the Voodoo Lounge awesome. Tour. My wow. parents took wow. me to that. Yeah. That was, it was pretty dope. We were a, on the floor. It was a dope experience. That's a big Man. show too the, with the Stones. That was one of their Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Uh, I was a kid. I was like 12. I took this chick with me that I went to I went to middle school with and shit. It was a cool experience with my parents. Uh, who was it? Curly Bill. Curly Bill from Tombstone. Oh, was Curly Bill. Us, was behind us. He was standing behind us at the concert, and this fool was roasting a big pipe the whole time. It was a good time. It's, I remember that memory. Yeah. What, what's, the, what's, what's Homeboy's name? Um, he's a popular actor. He, played, he also played Jim Jones. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Crazy Jim Jones. He, he played it in, yeah. in the Jim Jones that uh, miniseries. He, no, no, no. In the movie, it was a it was a movie they did like in the eighties or late seventies or something like that. You know this actor? He's still working today. Mm-hmm. Colton. I'm trying to look. I, know, I know it. I, know, I, know <laughs> I exactly. knew you were on it. I know who you're talking about, but uh, uh, something. Um, <sighs> Damn it! He's got a he's got a he's got a trippy name. Is it Joe? No, Mama. Wow. All right. You're, <laughs> Get the fuck out. you're over. I'm bored, man. What do you want me to do? I'm waiting. You guys are waiting for you're a name. You're bored. Meaning waiting for this guy to get this name. Oh. I, I don't know. So who, how to shoot something out while he's really looking? Talking about, to be honest. Uh, well, oh, he okay. gave you things to look up. No. Uh, was it Curly shows? Bill? Was it that? Who yeah. Was there you go. Cat? Curly Bill. Curly Bill from Tombstone. Yep. Yeah, there Curly you go. Bill from Tombstone. But yo, shouts oh, to really? Curly Bill, shouts to the Rolling Stones, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, they they put on a great show. Mick Jagger oh, yeah. was running back and forth up and down that oh, long ass stage. That's when he was running. Night. That's when he was running. He's running. Yeah. 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 He was yeah that was the performance. Yeah. 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 You talking I mean, about Bill Brocious? Bill Brocious. Yeah. There you go. Bill Brocious. That's right. It should be Brocious. And we got Donnie up in here asking Squints, you remember the first time smoking? And if so, what was your first experience like? Uh, Sutter Junior High School. Um, I think I was like, I guess I was sixth, yeah, late sixth grade. Um, it was like a little, little, you know, stone pipe that somebody brought from school with some swag yeah. on the field and like in like a circle while we're taking hits, you know, at least it was, a, it. at least it was a stone pipe and not one of them goddamn metal ones. I, we, we, them one. we, we hit plenty of those too in cans and, and with the removable and bowl pens and whatever the fuck we could get our hands on. <laughs> those aluminum pipes with the screw on bowl. Yeah. That's, that's those are like so bad for you. Like that's like uh-huh. early ticket to Alzheimer's old school, old school graphics, you know, just uh, plastic joints, nasty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been there. That was my 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 early experience was not the experience today. It was a, uh, it was a lot of seed popping, uh, headache, headache ish. You know. That happens. That Mexican brick. Oh boy. Yeah. Who knew we knew about that? <laughs> yeah. She was terrible. If you were here, you definitely knew about that. Terrible. 
And we got Mr. 87 up in here saying, I stopped smoking to get through my job interview slash drug test. Five weeks was a big break, but I got hella shit done to E-Zone. Saying got smashed when I started back up. He's saying random drug test was my reason for stopping to smoke. Rather, I would rather keep my job to buy my weed over being broke. True that. Smart move. Yep. Get your paper, big dog. Hey, listen, right. everything takes a little bit of discipline. If you want to be successful at something, you got to be disciplined about what you're doing. So if, if it takes that little bit of sacrifice, there you, go. Yep. you must do. Yeah, sacrifice is part of it, man. Yeah. Yeah, the cannabis should enhance your life. It shouldn't uh, prevent you from achieving anything. Right. You know? And we got Goon Daddy up in here saying, yo, the show in Auckland was super dope, Be Real. Finally finally got tickets to Cypress and Ice Cube off my bucket list. Thank you guys for coming to New Zealand. Well, thank you for, um, you know, enjoying the experience. It was fun for us. Uh, we always have a great time in New Zealand. The, the crowds love hip-hop, and, uh, man, it's it was no less love than the first times we, we came there and into the you know, times after that. Um, it's always been a great vibe. So salute to all y'all down there and salute to all the Aussies watching right now. Fans are great out there, man. Absolute. And shout out to Mr. 87 and Sven for your super chat. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. And we got Midwest Boxing saying, I have to take three to four dabs before I hit the gym at 6 a.m. Hey, man, if you're going to smoke before the gym, dab. Yeah, dab. That's what I do 100%. It'll, you, it'll, un- it'll get you zooted. You it'll get you going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. It'll actually get you, like, picked up. So that if old... I- that That's immediate. OG, yes, it is. That old OG shatter, OG yeah. butter used to yeah. like. I'd be zooming around the shop, just like. Yeah, it, it does. makes me want to do some push-ups or, or get on it, get to it. You that know, will get you started. Good yeah. job, buddy. If you don't, if you don't, if you live in a place where like they still don't play by the cool rules, you know, mm. just get yourself, uh, you know, like a live rosin pen. That's right. So make sure it's live rosin. Yes. And we got Tracy up in here saying, "Can I get a big birthday shout out to my brother Roman? Happy twenty fifth birthday! Happy birthday, Happy birthday Roman. Roman! Happy birthday, Roman! Happy birthday, dog! Speaking of Roman, thank you for not ruining that. By the way, the other day, oh, I watched it. You I'm watched like, it? Oh yeah, and I was like, well, I didn't expect that. Oh man, so you didn't give me any clues. You guys didn't ruin it for me, so I actually got surprised. It's crazy, right? Yep. Do you guys watch Succession? Uh, I I put it on the first episode. I haven't like." I haven't gotta got, get in, into it. got in there yet, yeah, but yeah. Uh, I have intentions on it. Well, it's, I'll yeah. try it. Oh, yeah. No well, fall, though. Yeah, if you don't watch it, yeah. then... You we know, ain't ruining nothing. Then I ain't gonna ruin right. nothing for yeah. you. We're not. Snowfall, too, man. You know, I didn't I'm even know that was ending. back. I'm so pissed, you know, I found out. People posting, rest in peace, Jerome. I'm like, ah, oh, God. <laughs> I, I didn't yeah. know it was back. I'm so rest pissed. Rest in peace, Jerome. Yeah, and that's how I found out. And the, what, six episodes or something? Yeah. I just looked at it last night. I was wow. so mad. Tonight's, oh. I think tonight's an episode. <sighs> man. And tonight's, tonight, a few things come out tonight. That's who I found out, though. And Jerome, and every, I, everybody it, loves Jerome. The last episode where it left off, I was like, damn, man. Because it got me it, it got me on the edge, bro. I was like, I was watching it. It gives you the anxieties, and that's a good series. I think when I seen it, I was like, man, they really going to just leave Franklin here. You watch Snowfall? I, I watched the first couple seasons. I respect the hustle, but I'm out of, I'm out of, I'm out, I'm wait, no, out wait, of touch it, with no, it at the moment. It's only yeah. one season. Huh? No, it's not one what? season. It's not it's two, on like four, three or four. No, like, three or four. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I thought it was like one whole season for some reason. No. Oh no, yeah. Yeah. I, I got I got in there, but not like with current events. But I I know what you guys are talking about. Yeah. I saw it, the. I it's saw ramping the up because it's the end. Yeah. You know. No, maybe because it always just I always just click on new. I just always thought I was like, oh, I just picked up from where it was. Oh, no, you've been watching it for a couple years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They are on season time flies. six. Yeah, this yeah, is season, season six, six bro. Yeah. Season well, time six, fucking bro. flies. All right. It does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> he thought it was like fucking uh, that Escobar series. Uh, yeah, like some narco shit where it's just like one long storyline. No, not that. Not not narcos because narcos like stops for for a time to film. Mm-hmm. But it was that one Escobar series. It's in Spanish. Um, oh, but they when he goes. Oh, it's like AJ and yeah. whatever. No, 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 no. Bobo knows what I'm talking about. Uh, the the and it was in a, it was like the novella. Patron yeah. del Mal. Yeah, it was like a novella. It was like 120 something episodes. Too much. It, you know what I mean? It it was from his his early starts till then when he dies. It and was there all was, about Escobar. And there was no yeah. break. Yeah, it's I'm, young Escobar okay. into mid Escobar into dead Escobar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, it spans like a hundred and some odd episodes. That's crazy. Oh, man. And it's all in Spanish. They even changed the actor. Like yeah. the youngest 
Escobar looks totally different, different. <laughs> than middle aged Escobar into you know Mr. King. And those, and those novellas, they didn't mind like switching up people if you know if you weren't there that day, you know. Yep. We got, got somebody. We got cover. somebody. You know, we'll yeah. cover you. I seen one, but it was on that. What's it called? His like his right hand, and it was another. It was all in Spanish, and it was about uh, what's his name, JJ. Yeah, you right. His yeah. hitman. That was there was a lot of episodes of that. But that one was decent. That one I wanted. Yeah, to they see did that like a novella too. Yep. All right, next. And we got a Chicano Blanco up in here saying greetings from Odensburg, New York. My favorite collab is Siempre Peligroso, Bees Verse and Bees Verse and Sends. Well, thank you. Did I say that right? Yep. There we go. Improving. And we got Crypto Will up in here saying, can't wait to see you this weekend. Shout out to Cypress Hill. It's going to be awesome seeing you guys in Arizona for a cannabis event. Well, that'll be me there. Um, this ain't a Cypress gig, so, you know. But I will be representing for sure. No doubt. And we got Hooked on Chronic up in here saying, I could have sworn Squints has been in the studio before. He was with... Yeah, yeah. He was with Ezone, came on yeah. Show. yeah, he was on the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. That's right. right. Yeah. That was fun. We had a good time. Mm -hmm. It was a good time. And oh, you, so you know, your your brand has some fire as Thank always. you, bro. Well, it's a labor, it's a labor of love. <laughs> Gotta get a hash collab going, bro. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm with it. I'm, I'm always, you know, it. collab is where it's at. Absolutely. Yeah. And we got side night sickness saying now with the funkies, you can taste the flavors even more. That's hey. what we've been saying been telling you that smoke and that seems to be it so far but we got a funky field tips 20 percent off it's going to be happening this friday at funkyfieldtips.com so 25 or 20 percent off the whole entire website nice. and we also got a funk box drop happening on 420 we got 12 oh, so funk boxes cool. that will be dropping and one of the funk boxes will be signed by be real yeah, and this is, uh, you know, the pieces that you get in the box right here. We got like, that new Green Thumb Chillum. I like that. Oh, nice. Smoke. Boom, bang. Get that funk box. Two years ago, I would have been like, that's perfect for nose beers. <laughs> <laughs> for nose oh, beers. Yeah. You going to drink the beers through your nose? Nah, it's a term, dude. All right. Oh. Yeah. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Yeah, yeah, it is. That part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that seems to be it for Super Chats. One never knows. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will say that, that nose beers is definitely the most endearing term for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? Yeah. It makes it, it sound like, yeah. not, like you can't die from it. You know what I'm saying? Nose beers, dude. You know, a little nose beers. <laughs> yeah. Very subtle in comparison yeah. to others, yes. Yeah, it definitely oh, has oh. less cracky vibes. It's good. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Compared, it's like, you want to go do a fucking so, line, dude? So, hey, nose yeah. beers, please. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, we want to thank everybody for jumping in with us today on the Dr. Green Thumb Show. Um, as you do every day with the positive vibes, because, you know, we like to spread those. We want to thank my man Squints coming up in here, Chauncey, for uh, yes, sitting in with us and, uh, you know, introducing us to the new flavors. My blessing. Yeah. Thank you for having me, bro. It's, uh, Absolutely. It's a bucket list for me, so that's dope. Word up. Well, this is be the first of many times you will sit in the seat. Thank you. At the table with us, man. Hopefully you'll come back and visit us and, you know, lock in again. 100%. Word up. You got any shout-outs you want to give? Uh, you know, shouts to my, my wife for holding it down and dealing with my crazy ass from the day-to-day, <laughs> -day, uh, uh, you know, you know, madness that is the cannabis business. And, uh, you know, shouts to the family. Um Foreign Genetics, uh, that 420 event's coming up. Crest Theater, if you guys can make it, come hang out. Let's smoke and watch Sandlot. There it is. And then, uh, you know, we got the shop coming. We got flavors coming. I'm going to keep going to work every day as long as they let me do this shit. And, uh, you know, thanks for rocking with us. That's what's up. All right. Uh, you can catch me on the socials on Twitter at Eric Bobo, on IG at Eric underscore Bobo, on Discord at Bobo's Corner. And also on Social Club. Uh, thanks to everybody for coming, uh, uh, for supporting us and checking out the show. Thank you, Squints, for coming through to the show. It was great. And uh, big ups to all the people that support me and Snacks. We thank you for that. Buddy.
Shout out to the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Ray Morning Shot Films. Shout out to The Dominator. And like we said earlier, it's going to be 20% off Funky Field Tips at funkyfieldtips.com on Friday. So check that out. What's going on, Cali? Uh, shout out to Squints for coming through, man. Good having you here. Bobo, Zone, Be Real, everybody upstairs. Same song, 5150s. Everybody who bust their ass over at Cali Blaze. I really appreciate you guys, man. Everybody from the lab, packaging, processing, everything, man. Thank you guys. And, uh, yeah, thanks for the support. I'll see y'all on uh, Friday. Much love. Thank you to everybody but Xavier for today's morning episode. <laughs> what a Same dick, podcast. man. Uh, you know, uh, and thank you, Brian, for uh, substituting and coming through with some positivity. And uh, make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. We will have Funk Freaks on the We Don't Smoke the Same show. We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. And there's also a lot of new merch being worked on. Everybody who uh, is wondering about the Patreon, we're almost at 80, uh, 80 subscribers. We just... Uh, we just started, so we're at almost 80 subscribers on there, and I told you guys at 80, I'm going to go punch the bread at Ralph's, and I need to go grocery shopping, so uh, hey. uh, we're like four away, and I will put that video up there. Also, there's uh, two blog entries from the week before, uh, including the soccer game uh, that, that happened over the weekend, where we won 3-0, so make sure you uh, put the link in the in the chat, So and go to the website, flavorsbyezone.com or highhungry.shop. There's a lot of new shit that I'm working on, new merch. You don't want to miss out. I, I I got some new plugs with some new quality and new ideas, so look forward to it. A lot of us want to put work in, grind, you know, um, push. And sometimes we get caught up in that. It sometimes uh, distracts us from things that might be going on with us, whether it's some mental shit or some physical um, you know, sometimes we use the grind as a distraction and it's okay, but sometimes you got to take time for yourself to heal up, whether it is emotionally or in the mind or, or physically and take that, take that little bit of time because you could grind yourself to death. You know, in the grind, you're constantly stressing from one thing to the next because not everything works out as you plan it you know and and some people stress off that because they're so meticulous on staying on this course and if something gets disrupted in the course it causes stress to your body and your mind and that develops sickness eventually if you keep on in that pattern so remember to take time for yourself to like reset and heal up because the grind's always going to be there and if it's in you to hustle and, and in you to push a day or two to reset and heal up get clarity whatever it is it's not going to hurt you it's only going to help you swallow that <laughs>